Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. So let's jump into the let's chat. So for those that- oops. So for those that miss, we'll ignore the PSO notes. Uh, the announcement at the beginning of the stream, and for people coming in from the VOD, I think the Ziggledy bot might be dead for the foreseeable future due to changes in OBS and stream elements. They've made it extremely annoying to update. And I'll leave stream elements on. I managed to get that working for this stream. But yeah, it's clearly not really thought through, and I will probably put a complaint in when we're done with the stream of why they made that change. But anyway, uh, test out commands. Maybe the commands still work. But I think from the standpoint of the plot of Wild Arms, the plot kind of just stopped. Like, I I'm getting kind of like vibes of Terranigma where there's like this really coherent plot point and then the plot point happens, Fennel's there. And then after that, there's just no follow-up. So the three statues were destroyed. The demon queen is revived, dot, dot, dot. I'm on a boat and I'm going fast and, and I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> in the sea. Like, I don't have a character motive for what we're doing. I can't even tell you why we're doing these. So, I mean, where we last left off, I think I arbitrarily went to Rosetta Town and Calamity Jane happened to want us to do something. So unless something else happens immediately after this, I don't know what the plot is. <laughs> Which is really awkward, like, I don't have a goal, per se, anymore. But whatever. Let's go ahead and boot up Wild Arms. It was actually doing really well with keeping, like, coherent plot points together, and then it just gave up for some reason. Not really sure why. Also, where is my... Where did my songs go so I could turn it off? One second, chat. Oh, that was weird. Like on a, the wrong monitor. So let's switch into the game. This is the Reaper's power. Yeah, I'm not that. F I'm not a fan of that in RPGs. You know, like, they don't have to tell me specifically where to go, but they have to give me, like, oh, you know, may maybe one of the ruins around the world can give us the answer we need. Like, I even just, like, a throwaway line, I kind of needed our protagonist to emphasize it. Like, we were told the last words of the other beast that they weren't going to talk with us anymore. And I, I don't know what that has to do with what we're doing with currently, though. Whereas before it was very guided up until this point, and now it's like, I don't even know what we're specifically looking for in order to deal with the demon. Or if we're just kind of enjoying our final days in Volcanon. You know, classic vacation spot Volcanon. So let's see, let's get used to the controls again. So stats are looking fine. Okay, people are sort of close to leveling, but not in a way that matters. You again! That was funny! Oh, how's this- I can never say his name. I feel like there should just be another letter in that name, and my brain does not want to internalize how to pronounce that. Alhazad. Like, I feel like I want to say, like, Alharazad. Like, I want to add, like, something in between the a H and the Z, given that there's a word before it. But anyway, Alhazad suggested that if we were to spread rumors about the Guardian Blade, you fools would show up. And you fools did. <laughs> My stomach still hurts from all the laughing. The Guardian Blade you fools are looking for is gone. It was a thousand years ago. Yeah, like, I, like, exactly, all hazards, another good one. You know the ocean of sand in the middle of Phil Gaia? That's the power of the Guardian Blade. Destroyed the demons, the humans, and all of Phil Gaia. In the end, it destroyed itself. Yeah, I'm not sure why we thought the Guardian Blade was here, by the way. Like, did we honestly think it was here? 
because earlier in the game they told us it was in the desert and i thought that's what we were looking for when we were going into um the place where we found the wife's final item for the other guy whatever that place was called i thought it was meant to be there and it sounds like he confirms it was there so again i don't really know why we did this <laughs> The only problem with logic is the people that are supposed to spread the rumors, rumors are hidden, apparently. It took such a long journey for nothing. Ha ha ha. I mean, I still don't know why we came here, to be honest. But you don't have to worry about the trip home. I'll take care of that for you. I'll bury you guys right here, right now. Oh, he's saving us travel expenses. How thoughtful of him. Uh oh, Chad, he's gathering green. This is the reason why I chose this ruin for our fight. He's greening everywhere, chat. No way, it can't be. My powers are being drained away. Wait, you chose this place for a fight and you didn't know this would happen? Lemony Jane mad, apparently. This one is starting to glow, too. I'm gonna break it. If you get any more excited, the ruins will collapse. Oh. I don't need any help from any enhancing machines. I'm a night crawler. Beware, human. Yeah, I have a feeling he's about to get dunked. I'm getting weak, but I'll never yield to a human. I think everybody's still in manual control from before. So there's no reason for me to use the rocket launcher yet. I'm low on regular bullets. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to do a normal attack here, so that way I could get the boosted damage later. Let's do Trickster and see if the game ever decides it wants to give me anything here. I made it I made it cheaper to check, if nothing else. Of course he has nothing. Elselk Breaker. How much is this going to do? A thousand? That's actually quite a lot. That's actually a problematic amount of health that he just did. Let's heal her, and then we're gonna do... Let's try Soul Breaker on him. Or save MP and use Meteor Dive. We'll use one of that and then switch to the other one. Um... I don't really want to teach him about fringing. I could see if Rob does damage to him. I'm gonna try Rob and then Cryo, depending on how he reacts. Ah, he missed, seriously? I'm never using Soul Break again, chat. Disrupting Flail, okay. Four four seven. okay. Let's shoot a bullet here. Actually, I think I'm forced to heal with this character because she's getting outsped. I think I'm actually going to heal for a moment. When she is not targeted, I'm free to do things again. Let me try Boldy. See if it does any difference in damage. And then I want to go back to melee with Cowboy. I just need to put her out of kill range. Oh, that might not be enough. Okay, finally, something else was done there. This is the Reaper's power. 480. So it did a little more than Rob did. But it could be RNG damage. Uh, I think I want to save up for Sonic Vision. Let's teach herself about fringing. Nice damage. Oh, she actually went first. So she's out of kill range now. Is it only targeting her? What is going on? This is so annoying, actually. Because she's not going fast enough to heal herself consistently. I mean, I could risk it, but she's probably going to die here. I'm going to use her Mystic to just AoE heal everybody. Yeah, if he wasn't out speeding, I don't think this would be a problem. 
Okay, so she barely outsped, but he could just be doing a normal attack here, which is slower. So she's still in kill range of this attack, despite healing a thousand. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, to be honest. That felt kind of unfair. Yeah, that felt really, really unfair. I'm not going to lie. He's almost out of MP. I'm doing okay damage. Blaster Howling. It didn't do anything. So I got one bullet left, and then I can make him a dedicated healer. Um, I probably actually just want to use... Probably something... I'll probably use my first magic carrot on myself. Oh, it paralyzes. Oh, that's actually super irritating. Okay, I can't afford to be only one character up. Two characters I can win. So he's just targeting the character with the least health every time. Okay. I think I'm learning how his gimmick works. Which is kind of annoying because I don't have something between 200 and 1,000. I'm going to do Sonic Vision on him. Yeah, I might have to actually get armor if... Unless he's dead. Oh. Did... Wait, he lost already? Oh, I was expecting it to go much longer. I lost. I can't believe it. Oh. I don't know about you, Chad. It felt like I was only in the early phase of the boss, but he apparently had way less HP than I thought. Well, good thing I didn't bother reviving her, to be honest. So yeah, even an extra level I don't think would have really helped me there. Because she was just taking too much raw damage. So I think only armor would have helped me there. And to be fair, like at least I gave her decent accessories. Just her body armor is terrible. I'm going to go back and save. In case there's like a round two or something. But yeah, that was very anticlimactic. He didn't even do like a final attack. He just went, oh, basically woe is me and died. Well, anyway, Cowboy is now hilariously overleveled compared to everybody else. His odds of killing Cowboy are basically zero. Red Malice acquired, and that is what exactly? A Giant's Lost Malice. So, I guess what's happening is I found the Giant's Gate earlier, so I want to go there. I guess, at some point. I guess, right chat? Like, I suppose. Yeah, I'm presuming I need to go to the other place first. Can't believe I lost to a human. I'll get you next time. That going voice says, How pitiful. You used all your powers and you still lost. And against humans of all things. Who was that? No way. You're not even a council member. Give me a hand. Gather my body parts and take me back to the photosphere. I have no hand to give to a loser. Climb, humans. Climb up here to my level of dreams. Okay, that was random. We didn't even get the proper kill on him. Ouch, why is there an earthquake here? Get off me, you idiot. How long do you plan to stay on top of me? Ominous voice must be me. You're right, Rob. Hey, you've crushed the treasures. What the hell are you doing? Look at this. Hey, I I'm sorry, all right? It won't happen again. But my lady, under that circumstance, I think he did the right thing. Your safety is the most important thing to me. I know, I know. 
Don't start on me with that again. Thanks for saving my life. Remember, you can't buy a life, but there are a lot of other things you can buy in this world. Can we just move the rock? Uh, apparently not. I don't know how far we are from the entrance. If this doesn't immediately go to the entrance, I'm just going to teleport out of here. Uh, Actually, I think I want this thing dead first. Hopefully this one shots. I don't want to deal with the mage. Good. Good enough. So if this is not the exit... Okay, it is the exit. <clears throat> then I don't think it really matters. Might have saved some minor time by escaping. Oh, another cutscene. Bell Silk was defeated by the humans. He ruined the plan I so gracefully gave him. You really can't teach an old dog new tricks. No need to laugh at his scattered remains. I heard it was a death befitting of him. Now that he's gone, we can have all the fun. With him gone, we can't call ourselves the Quarter Knights. <laughs> Don't worry, my children. I already have a replacement in mind. Yay! My, my turn has finally come! With me, the Quarter Knights will revive like a phoenix! Come, Boomerang. Show yourself. No, it can't be. He's known as the Cannibal. The Executioner. A man with his reputation should not be joining the Quarter Knights. Yeah, he was kind of an embarrassment, I agree, chat. I'll just listen to the goofy music. <laughs> Give me a second. So... Are, are there two different people here? I guess the other guy is a person that's to the left of the ninja? I'm assuming that's Boomerang, question mark. Hmm. So many different villains to voice. I'm trying to think how Boomerang would sound. Hmm. Nothing's really coming to mind, to be honest. I guess we'll we'll start in neutral, and I'll, I'll think of a voice as we go forward. To kill other demons was one of my missions. Of course. I didn't have any misgivings about that unimportant mission. I do as I please. Mother, this man is not suitable to be a knight. I cannot listen to you. This time, my dear Zeke. <laughs> Don't get Boomerang an Australian accent, that's fair. Boomerang has a mission. You should understand this. I have told Boomerang to eliminate the humans guided by the guardians that are preventing us from achieving our goals. I understand, mother, if you say so. Oh, Zeke, my obedient and dear Zeke. Let me handle the elimination of the humans. I would like to see if they are worth the trouble. Let's go, Lucide. I just want to save my strength right now. That's why I sent him to go after the human beings. Don't worry, Zeke. Does that mean we are going to launch a major attack soon? Yes, but until then, no one must come near me. Understand, Zeke. I shall activate the Soul Delita. It is the ultimate defense barrier. It will keep any intruders from entering. We could name our spells Cannibal and Executioner if chat really wants to. It is the reason why our fortress is called the Photosphere. The Sphere of Light. 
soon. We shall see chaos and destruction. Man, this dialogue is so slow. Soon, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Rarity killed chaos, something like that. Oh, that's what their base looks like. I do like that uh, Zeke decided to explain what the photosphere was to everybody there. Nice. What are you folks going to do now? We have some unfinished business. Certainly. We'll miss you. We'll see you again. It's a small world. I guess I could bother to buy armor. I was trying not to get it every single time. But I think she might need it to survive. I don't think the other characters need it. I think her health is just too low for being behind in levels. So let's literally double her defense, so hopefully she doesn't get one shot in the future. Though ironically, the lowest HP character is now our tank. And I don't think I care about upgrading anything else that we have there, to be honest. Mostly just want to see if the rocket launcher is any good. Like right now it's terrible, but maybe with a couple upgrades it'll be worth using. Oh gosh, we have 13 spells. We have too many. A thousand to upgrade. 25 attack. Wow, that's actually significant. Let's do that again. Uh. Well, this is just clearly better than everything else that we have. I'm absolutely going to pay for another bullet. Well, Chan, I think I just found our uh, boss killer. So I'm going to put seven bullets in this thing, and the rest is just going to go pure attack. I don't even know if I want to bother with hit up. I don't think I do on this weapon. I think I just want another bullet, just in case. So anyway, I think that was better spent than spending the rest on armor for the rest of the characters. I just want to make sure the girl survives, because it is getting kind of annoying that she's dying constantly. Like, meanwhile, Cowboy is way over-leveled, and he has almost 2,000 HP, so he's almost doubled her HP. So I'm hoping between all these things, she could tank a single hit. And now Hunter is also kind of falling behind, because he's at 1275. I mean, just like, look at the HP difference. Like, Cowboy probably doesn't need armor. Hunter might. We'll go from there. I wish I could get them to hit her more consistently so I could test how effective the armor is, but I don't think that's going to happen. Why did you help my father, he says. I've done nothing wrong. Alright, so no update there. Let's leave. I guess I go back to that other tower. So my defense, I've upgraded, I think, everybody. I guess if I can afford one armor for Hunter, I'll go buy it. Because we are going to have to split up. No, I don't have enough. Is there anything I could very cheaply sell for some cash? I do have an extra secret sign if I want to do anything with it. Yeah, most of this is not really worth money. I could declutter my inventory very slightly, but that's about it. Yeah, let's get rid of regular shield. I don't need that anymore. So we still have a duplicator. Was there a place to use the duplicator that I forgot about? I thought we went back to the original castle already. And that's where we got the spell glyphs, so I guess this is just for a future room. I honestly don't recall where the other room is, if we've seen it. I know there was uh, the hookshot place, which we went to earlier. So we still can't get through here. I'd like to get into one fight, perfect, before we leave. Oh, it's this kind. Okay, I don't think I want this specific fight. 
We need to do this to hopefully kill them. I'm gonna just do a Kirk plus. I don't think it's worth Kirk plus blessing. We'll do a normal Kirk. Whoever goes first gets the kill. So we're gonna make some use of Prison Ray, but it looks like it's already outclassed. So I'm not gonna put too many more points in upgrades. This rocket launcher is clearly better. I wonder if all the other weapons are just as strong as that. So I can't go this way. What happens if I do try to go this way? Oh, it's just the block. I didn't even get a little dialogue. Hmm. So this is just basically paying for future upgrades, so I might as well just take the fight. I'm gonna Prism Ray again. I'm gonna attack into probably just another attack here. Save some MP. I don't care about using Prism Ray at the moment because we have uh, quite a few amount of bullets between all of his weapons. And he's also the character least likely to die. Hunter's at least strong enough to one-shot without using spells, which is good. Ooh. Kind of whipped the damage there. That's a bit unfortunate. So yeah, I guess I got punished there for not leveling Prism Ray further. Because it might have killed with more ATP. So somewhere between 500 and 600 HP is how much they had. Hunter went up a level. That's actually perfect. That'll help with the survivability. Let's teach them about fringing again. Welcome, Black Spidey. Hopefully you're doing well today. Hmm... Where was the tower? I think it was in the southeast. You're a bit sore. I was feeling a little ill yesterday. I feel much better today. I think who did not agree with me or something. Thank you, Prism Ray. Doing exactly what I want you to do. Minus the miss. Aw. Hopefully you feel better as the day goes forward, Black Spiding. Right now we're just murdering some random creatures on the high seas. Speaking of which... How close are they to leveling? Not very close. She's somewhat close. Everybody... <laughs> for for Cowboy, just completely eclipsing everybody's XP. Nobody could catch up. Let's go to the Tri-Pillar. Ah, uh, Chaos Venia has rebranded to RJ Chaos. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. The three roads, cooperation, and trust will bind them into one. I think this is showing us how to climb the tower. This must mean each of us has to go up separately to reach the top. No, it sounds dangerous, but we must separate from here on. Uh, I guess I'll do Hunter first. Oh, you're moving stuff around? Like new furniture or moving places? Hmm. Let's see, how hard are these enemies? Gelled them. Let's at least use a meteor dive here. Which again, I might just use another quick draw on just so we attack faster. That is a lot of damage. Might not need to do that. Let's compare against a normal strike here. Will it one shot? It does not. Hmm. So I'm forced to burn MP here if I want to kill them consistently. Poison's kind of annoying. Fortunately, we have a lot of antidotes. Okay, congratulations on the move. 2,400 XP. That's not bad. Interesting, I was able to menu while it was fading to black. Does the game take inputs when we're transitioning between screens? Hmm. 
Now I'm going to try something next time that occurs. Ooh, I don't think I want to do with this encounter. Three enemies? Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Man, chat, what I would give for a get out of encounters right now. This game desperately needed an auto escape encounter spell or something. I don't have any AoE with this character. This is going to be tedious. Goodbye, my MP. I don't know what that's supposed to be doing. It doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe because they're at full HP, they can't drain or something stupid. Which, I mean, it's good for me because it's less brutal of a fight. I'm just going to one-shot them. Yeah, we can only leave the dungeon with Eek. So this is going to force me to use a lot of MP here, which really sucks, because he doesn't one-shot them. And they do enough damage that I wouldn't be able to out-heal if they kept doing that. And that was worth less XP than the other fight. Man, that fight just sucks. <laughs> that fight just sucks all around, chat. Wow, and then there's nothing even up there. Wow. Well, I'm not going to go up there. I can see it doesn't lead anywhere. Well, I guess I'm going to be burning some magic carrots because I really don't want to mess around with this. I think it's very important I don't mess around with this. I think I'm going to use a quick draw on Meteor Dive. I think it going from 6 down to 4. Well, right now it's technically currently at 5, but I think we used one on it earlier. I think it's more important for me just to get through this dungeon. I'm going to use it one more time. I'm still going to hold one in case we need it for later. But yeah, let's make this cheaper. That seems to be the MVP of damage right now. Oh. Didn't realize that went all the way around until just then. Yeah, nothing hidden there. Just use the confirm to double check. This is the fight that takes the longest and it gives the least reward. This sucks. Well, at least this only costs four now. MVP damage is Sir Rob. Sir Rob isn't with us anymore. It's just Hunter by himself with his one, one ability. I guess... Do I risk using the AoE? I don't think it'll kill... I mean, I guess I could try... Oh, they're not grouped up, so I can't do it anyway. Whatever. Because the problem with the AoE is that it does less damage than normal. If it did as much as Meteor Dive would be doing, or even just, like, a little bit less, I think it would have been fine. But I have a feeling if I use it, it's going to do, like, 600 or something, and then just not kill the enemy. Which is a problem. Because then I don't really gain anything from using it. I guess if they're in, a, in an actual triple group, it might be worth using. But if it's just two and one, I don't think it's worth using. It's better just the Meteor Dive, which is now much cheaper. And also guarantee they don't immediately one-shot me. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're playing Pick a Path again. <sighs> Least favorite game design chat. It's like tee hee dead end. I mean, our character, if we could see from his perspective, would see that it's a dead end. Ooh, we actually got outsped there. At least kill him? Didn't kill him. It's unfortunate. Because if, if we had killed on that counterattack, we could have ended the battle just then. Unfortunate. Rip our MP. Ooh, there we go. That's what I wanted to have happen before. 
So yeah, we have to do about 650 maybe to kill. Well, goodbye all of our healing berries. Good thing I bought several before coming here. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm gonna guess the fact that there's multiple switches means I potentially have to bring up multiple characters. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go back for now. I'm gonna wait on the blue thing. So presumably there's some... There's some order I have to do this in, but I don't know what the order is. So we can't go through there. I'm just gonna move them the way they are closest to first. And see if I need them for anything else. Saving the strongest character for last. Ironically, she might be the best tank in the party. Got another boss heal item. That's actually kind of important to pick up. Since we're using on average about two to three a battle. So we paid for about a third to half of our healings right there. Oh, he gets the preemptive strike? Why didn't I get that as Hunter? How come Cowboy only has to fight one enemy? Oh, they only have 400 HP. Oh. Why did I think it was 600 from earlier? Oh well. Well, never mind. Then the AoE shot would have been better there. Because there I have no... No doubt in my mind. Let's see if there's a chest up here I didn't see. No, there's not. No doubt in my mind that it would do enough damage. So here it would be worth Prism Rang if it's multiple. Why are we only getting single enemies? What is this? I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Uh-oh, I've been told they're wide open. Uh, I lower my defense and then I shoot you in the face. Goodbye. <laughs> what a trade. Okay, all I'm trying to do is get to the same point with each of the characters, then we'll make a decision from there. Uh, yeah, why is this character only getting single encounter attacks? Why, why wasn't I getting that with the other character? I don't really want to fight this. Oh, you're going to force me to? Okay. <sighs> right, chat? Like, I just... It's not even worth it from a time perspective. I just... I don't want to be fighting these encounters. So that's definitely my biggest complaint about Wild Arms right now. I really, really don't want to be doing these encounters. This character is like way over leveled compared to everybody and he still doesn't auto run from battles. That's crazy to me. He's the only character that is legitimately just way over leveled. So every fight here is not worth my time. Because one, it's only a single enemy at a time. Two, he doesn't need the XP. Will you let me run this time? Nope. Uh, why even put the retreat option if it never works, chat? <laughs> Just gray it out. Don't waste my time. Guess I'll shoot him in the face with gun. I can do commands while it's in the black screen. So I prepped the run ability. So he was already in that as soon as the screen loaded. Okay, so if I hold the button down, it'll remember it. It's good to know, actually. So sadly, I do have to use quite a few bullets here. We have the rocket launcher, but we have to make sure we have aim ability. So right now the handgun, I only need maybe four or five bullets for a boss. The rest could just be used to one-shot these encounters. So now I'm here. So he could continue onwards if I need to. 
I guess we'll go this way. So far, there hasn't really been a room that's required me to use certain gadgets or not, but I'm assuming as we go higher up, we will, and that's why those are there, to swap between the characters. I'm assuming that's what that is. Another boss heal. Okay, so we got enough in case there's a boss battle here. Uh, I think I just got a perk plus plus them. I wish I could make curse spells cheaper. Ooh, we kind of low rolled on the other guy. It's unfortunate. Let's get a melee attack, save some MP maybe. Oh, now I'm definitely saving MP. Another heat salve acquired. Good. Paralysis is annoying. Although I think if we get paralyzed, we just lose. So there are statues over here. Do these do anything? Can I move them? Hmm. I think I just keep Kirk Plus Blessing, and if we need the magic carrots, I've been saving a lot of them up to this point, so this would be the, the situation to use them in. I like that our ability to name spells is so powerful, it applies to the enemies. Hmm, seems resistant to that damage type. Yeah, we'll rob him. Kaboom. Oh, he survived. That's not good. Oh, wait, counterattack? Yeah, counterattack. Hey, she actually took very little damage there. So there we go, chat. The armor paid off. She can tank hits now. So let's see if we're able to do anything with this statue. And hear it in my head. The entrance to chivalry is the ultimate challenge for a swordsman. So master the art of the fast draw. What? Was I supposed to bring him here? Uh okay. Grind your solo for two hours. No, thank you. Don't like grinding in video games. And here we are as the game forces me to grind. I really just want to go to the top of the tower. I mean, at this point, I should just auto attack. We've done enough damage here. Speaking of which. Hmm. I guess I could bring him back here if I'm not sure later. I might just look it up to save chat time. Because walking there and then finding the statue doesn't do anything would be a very big waste of time. Just gonna auto attack. Should be good here. Oh, now she crits. Unfortunate.
so close. Her fighting somewhat matters because she is underleveled. It's just unfortunate I keep fighting enemies that are not grouped up. I would like to normal Kirk them. But I think I got a Kirk plus plus if they keep splitting like this. Hopefully we get like one counter attack or two. See, it seems like the armor is halving the damage. So I don't know how damage is calculated in this game necessarily, but 50 armor is resulting in about 110 damage less right now against these enemies compared to Hunter. So it seems like armor at least is not a point for point basis. I don't know if it's like a percentage of damage taken removed or it's just comparing against their attack stat. But she's taking significantly less and her effectively having double HP is kind of important given her HP is terrible. And she seems to get targeted very often. Oh, so there's like a... Ooh, I'm gonna need the grappling hook, maybe? Alright, so I need a grappling hook. So I'm gonna swap her and the other guy. Assuming those are swaps, or else I have to do basically the whole dungeon again. Which would also make me very upset, chat. I'm just letting you know, if that happens, I'm gonna get very cranky. Because it already took a while to get here. Ooh, will this kill? No. Let's nude full Kirk them. We're lucky a counter attack here will kill. Not lucky. Goodbye. Okay. Good amount of XP. That's a battle I don't mind, per se. Yeah, see how I was instantly in the menu? Because normally you hear the... the sound effect, but I'm doing it before the sound effect can even load, which is kind of funny. Um... I should I change my mind? I'm gonna use Antidote, and then I'm going to... Fringe with her. Be good there. Wait, do these not do anything? Wait, I thought these would teleport. Do they not? I thought I would have to stand on the switch as two characters and then another one teleports. Is that not how this works? None of them seem to be lighting up when I touch this. This is a bit concerning. Um. Hmm. What did I not try to do? Like, they, they're clearly supposed to do something, but the switches aren't activating. I probably didn't go through it in the right order, which kind of pisses me off. Like, okay, so I want to swap these two. Oh, now- oh, now it does the swap. Okay, well, I don't want to do that then. Leave the person here. It should probably have lit up to inform me that it was active, to be honest with you. Because it wasn't giving me a visual cue that it was doing anything. Like, this switch should have gone from, like, dark blue to, like, pink or something. Alright, so let's go this way. Secret Sun acquired. So, okay. I'm gonna go backwards slightly. I wanna see if the statue does anything. Let's see if Sonic Buster is good enough here. Or if it's just gonna do like 500 and not kill. I mean, I feel like I called it out, chat. I feel like I called that out pretty well. And that's why I don't really like Sonic Buster. It does less than our normal attack. It should have at least done as much as our normal attack, to be honest with you. Let me go through the left side then with this character.
Seriously? Uh, I think I'm gonna use a magic carrot on him now. He does have a healing spell, I think, but for some reason he can't use it outside of combat. Which makes its usefulness pretty much zero for me, to be honest. So I don't think I really want to spend 6 MP to just heal or cure a status. Well, I guess I could see if this kills. Ooh, barely. So that'll save me some time then. He went up another level. So he's been racking up the XP. So I'm gonna go investigate the statue, and if nothing happens, we'll just move on. Let's see if this teaches a new technique. Because it was like the only unique thing as we were climbing up aside from the statues at the bottom, which don't seem to do anything. Uh, Meteor dive you. Let's get a guaranteed kill. I mean, that damage is just so high. I feel like I'm going to be using this for a long time until we get a super technique, which even if we get it in like the next dungeon or two, it being cheaper here has already paid off pretty heavily. Saved us a magic carrot. So I'm getting a lot of money to upgrade the rocket launcher. That's not too bad. In case this is a fight, I'm going to heal. This should release the ultimate challenge for a swordsman. You shall master the art of the fast draw. Chunky statue awaits my challenge. So do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. So I did, I did have to challenge the statue. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! when Yugi challenges the door. Just kind of one of those things. Just duel the door. Duel the statue. Hopefully this one-shots the encounter, but we'll see. That was a pretty underwhelming challenge. More heal berries acquired. So I kind of made up for the healing used earlier. Lesson continues, warrior. Not permitted to rest until you have mastered the draw. Oh, do you want me to use the new technique? Okay. Well, I don't see anything here, so I'm just gonna do this again. Nice counter attack. I mean, they don't do much damage. Another heal berry acquired, so I'm getting a lot of healing. Use your sword to hold yourself up, it says. This is supposed to be like... I wonder why the challenge is so easy? Oh, come on! Did you seriously miss the... Come on. What is my accuracy that that happened? Game, please. This enemy is like from the beginning of the game. Not even worth our time to use MP. You've learned to control your fear as well. You've learned the ancient secret. The victory is in your hands. Okay. Hint from statues test. It costs a lot of MP. If it's any good, I'm gonna secret sign it. That's a single target. It's 
so it didn't do anything. I don't think it cost me MP, though. Why is it not unlocking? What? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Is it random when he uses it and learns it or something? I mean, I think he got it almost first try. And I think the other time it didn't work is just because the, the trickster portion of it failed. Is it... Is it trying to do, like, an insta-kill? Is that why I'm not learning what this does? Mm hmm. Uh... Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um... Okay. Just random? That's stupid. I love RNG to unlock major mechanics. It's my favorite. I definitely don't complain about this every time it happens in a video game. I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly I enjoy it when my progress is locked by random dice rolls. Well, I guess I'll keep playing as him for now until he decides to learn it, I guess. I'm gonna do Sonic Cluster on this, just to speed it up slightly. It kind of reminds me, like, that is that is one of the reasons I'm kind of hesitant to play Saga Frontier. Like, it's... I enjoy portions of the game, I do not enjoy unlocking techniques in that game at all. Because it also similarly has an RNG system for unlocks. It's like a weighted chance based off your abilities if you upgrade something. Was not a fan of that for sure. Okay, so there's... A long place to go. Okay. Another encounter. Raid Buster. I think I just want to do an honest insta kill here if they have low HP or do two of these and end the fight. Good dodge. Will this kill? Oh, this is definitely going to kill. I was trying to gauge how much HP they had, so I was kind of hoping for a normal counterattack here. To get an idea if it's worth just using Meteor Dive or not. Okay, so two of those would have killed normally. That's what I wanted to learn. Well, I'm still going to try to use the technique here. Jack can see that I've used it many times in a row at this point. Although I think he's going to die before I can use it. That's so sad. How much XP are you worth? At least 3,000? Oh, 4,500? Oh, that's actually kind of worth it. There you go, dungeon. Stop giving me this, like, sad little 1,700. That's what I want to see, reward-wise. Yeah, then I could reasonably level. <laughs> so there's another switch over there. Continue climbing. So I might as well just keep going. Although I just realized something that makes me very sad, and I think I'm going to stop moving with him. I don't know if the other two are in the right positions yet. Let me go check that before we go further. I mean, I'm okay with this character getting more XP. This is just how I view it. We have now gained more XP with him. Yeah, no save points. And I didn't see what the other room gave us. Oh, please counterattack. Thank you. Yeah, the problem is just like fights in this game can take a while. And the fact that I only have one character at a time makes this area very slow compared to the rest of the game. I'm actually going to heal blade on myself and then magic carrot later. Since I would like to not burn all my associated healing. 
And this is like the only scenario I can think of where I would use this. Given that I might have to go back down. Okay, so let's magic carry it. So that way we should be fine here. I wouldn't have expected he would have been the character burning all my magic carrots, but here we are. So let's switch to her. She doesn't really have an ability per se, other than I could bonk or go backwards in time. It's more a question of, do the things up here need a bomb? And the problem is like, I can't tell. Because that would be the only real indication to me of what I need. So I don't see anything requiring anything specific yet. So I'm going to have to just play Pick a Path and hope I swap them in the right order. Can I please leave and not fight this? Thank you. So, so far this is just kind of like mimicking the same rooms over and over again. So my sense of progress is gone. So I didn't need to do anything special here. Ooh, ambush here would have been pretty lethal for her normally. So I would have probably taken about 600 and been in a really bad position with this. But fortunately we bought her armor, so that's not the case. this kills. Kinda sad she's not counter-attacking at all, but that's fine. Ooh, not enough to kill. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna be forced to burn a heal spell here, because I, I don't have a good AoE for them. Oh, now you counter-attack. I needed that earlier. Uh, let's do this. Well, I definitely don't regret upgrading her now. Let's summon Guardian. Let's see if it kills them instantly. She does have the Death Rune. Wow, the, the Guardians in this game suck. <laughs> Chat, can we talk about this? Why? <laughs> it's like, we had like one Guardian so far that has done damage. Everything else has just been a big disappointment. So disappointing. They're already like difficult to use from the standpoint that, you know, you potentially have to build up a meter. <sighs> big sigh. So I still don't know if this is the correct way for her or not. If I see a box, I have to swap. Oh, it's just more more time wasting zigzags. Got it. Okay, this fight at least seems somewhat fair. Let's see how they deal against Amp. Okay, that was pretty good damage. Please counterattack. This should kill. Oh, that'll definitely kill. Save myself some MP whenever that happens. So I basically have to make sure she's at full HP after every fight. Nice crit. Glad we gave her some weapon upgrade. She doesn't have the best weapon possible, but it's good enough. And she's leveled again. That's perfect. So she is now caught up to Cowboy in terms of levels, I think. Unless Cowboy hit 25. So I'm going to go up a floor, and if I don't see anything specific, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap to the boy to make sure his path doesn't need anything. She only has speak to animals, so it's very unlikely for her route to be locked. Wow, that did no damage. 
Uh, let's try Chaos Vania on it then. How much is this gonna do? Also very low damage. I guess they're resistant to magic in general. Wow, what a crit. Well, time to use Rob again. So yeah, if this doesn't lead to a puzzle... I guess I might as well hit the switch and see what's beyond here. We're close enough. The short room. Come on. Hmm. Try Boldy on him. Yeah, it looks like just resistant to all spells. Just making sure you didn't have like one resistance. I'm assuming if I had light damage, I would have been able to do more damage. Given that it looks like a shadow creature. But the only way I could do that is by enhancing my weapon with an element. Which I don't think we picked up. Not bad damage. If we counter attack here, it might kill, maybe. Use Cryo again. Use as many spells as we got. Nice counter attack. This might kill with a crit. It will. Nice. Save some MP. So we're gonna use another magic carrot, since we're being forced to burn a lot of resources. Which again, I'm really glad we had multiples of. So are there any puzzles here? No. So she's at the top of her route, it looks like. Given that she didn't need anything in particular, I think we're good. Oh, just give us another magic carrot. Nice. Uh, what are these? When the door lies, the benevolent stone giant. Deep inside the ground, the stone giant waits for a blue heart. The blue doors will open when the three lights merge. The Golden Beast holds the Song of the Blue Heart. Oh, we finally got a save point in this horrible dungeon. <laughs> wow, chat, that took that took a while to reach. That was like, what, a combination of like 20 total rooms between all the characters? Holy. Look at my level difference. Oh, and we can't see with the other characters. We'll see in a moment, though. So 24, I think you're also 24 now, right? Oh, you're 25? You actually out-leveled Cowboy? That's disgusting. Chat, Cowboy was at such an XP advantage. Remember that. Cowboy hasn't died in a single fight so far. Just the XP here is so stupid. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I'm gonna do this. The encounter as I throw the... <laughs> throw the hampon at him. So sad. I mean, this XP is really good. So I'm not gonna complain about these enemies specifically. So Hunter having more HP is fine with me. His MP doesn't matter to me as much. The only important thresholds are basically 50, 100, 150, based off of how many magic carrots he can have. Another 3,000 in XP. Money's looking pretty good. So I could potentially get a very strong rocket launcher, which is what I'm looking to do to cheese the bosses. Um... I'm gonna use a couple safety heals here, since that's our only purpose. So he was pretty close to the top of his tower. So the question is, do I even bother trying to get XP with him? Oh, he's pretty close, 3,500. Guess I'll take the fight. Another boss heal. So ideally here, I want to get in a fight with the triple Raid Masters so I can level. Oh, just Fiend. Well, I'm going to shoot Fiend in the face. No mercy, chat. 
GG. Not worth it. Not worth the fight. We're gonna try to get into one more encounter. Because as I said before, I think I think it would be worth leveling. We're that close. So it seems like we got a little more to go at least, which is good. Gives an excuse for one more fight. So far, most of his battles have just been one-ofs. I still have eight bullets left, and I plan on using maybe four or five on a boss encounter. Rocket Launcher should basically be what we use. The downside is that it doesn't have really great accuracy, so it requires me leaning into uh, the auto-aim force ability. Which is, I think, a decent trade-off for how powerful it is. You know what? I don't feel like leveling. Let's just do this. If there's only single encounters, there's no point. Hey, this is the entrance. What strange powers brought us here? Uh, I'm gonna teach everybody about fringing real quick. I think I'm gonna hold off on using MP on her for now. I only really need to use at most realistically 30 MP for the boss. Kind of like a couple of attempts at uh, wide open and maybe an AOE spell. Oh, are there no encounters here? Oh. Well, I guess we'll just go into the what is presumably the boss chamber with about 30,000 in cash. Hello, music shift. I like there's also not a save that was there. Um, we're fighting Kitsune, question mark? Hello, Mage Fox. Hmm. I mean, I guess I should probably double the XP here. <laughs> I'm going to trickster it, but I doubt it will do anything. Oh, it's Kirking us? Oh, that's rude. You can't just start a battle and Kirk us in the face. And it has nothing as usual. <laughs> Try to out trickster a fox. Good luck, pretty much. Don't use don't use Sir Rob against it. It's illegal. Okay, I need to build up a little more meter, so I'm gonna use a regular shot here. Then I'm going to Meteor Dive, and then I'm going to... Maybe tell the fox to be quiet, <laughs> so it doesn't spellcast me. Gotta shush the fox. Because this AoE damage is kind of annoying. I have a counter to it, it's the girl using Mystic. Yeah, so she's taking about 100 less damage currently than the other people. don't think it worked. Let's get the arm lock or auto lock on the rocket launcher. Let's meteor dive and then I'm gonna mystic heal everybody no matter what here. That is so annoying if that hits me. Fortunately it did not work. Cause I literally just spent my mystic bar to hit it with the big damage dealer. So this should do a lot of damage hopefully. Okay, did more than meter dive. So we're basically back at full health now. And again, she's taking about 50% damage compared to everybody else. So it's like her health pool is doubled. I think I just lock on again with the rocket launcher. Hmm. I will not use Rob against Rob. We'll use Cryo, I guess. So silence didn't work. I gave it a shot. It felt like a good thing to attempt. But I think the boss is probably going to die in like one more turn. Because we're doing really high damage to this boss. Oh, <laughs> she did zero. 
I'm gonna lock on again. Uh, can't do anything there. Didn't have the meteor dive. Hmm. I could make her angry if I wanted to, but I don't think that would help with the DPS in the way that I want. I guess I could just try to shush him again. I don't really have anything else worth doing. Oh, a Kirk plus plus me. Oh, that's rude. That was big damage to me. Hopefully the boss dies here on this attack. If not, I'll make a decision. There we go. Okay, so that boss battle lasted about as long as I thought it should. I missed an opportunity, I think, to card in the other fight. Because I kind of forgot about them briefly. But I remembered in this fight. So this should help a little bit. 10,000 money. Nice. Blue Virtue acquired. We're like, yeah, we killed a fox in a box. <laughs> All right. My treasure hunting dreams. <laughs> Goodbye, Tri-Pillar. I guess I should go to another place before the giant's place. Let me see if I have my notes from last time. Where were the... North continent east of four dots is giant's cradle. Okay. So at this point, I just need to beach somewhere and we should be good. I think this'll do. I just immediately attack. Rip Big Fox. Oh, this this monster actually gives decent XP. Huh. I'll just normal attack it, though. This is probably, like, the best random encounter we could be in. Just an easy fight with, like, a thousand plus XP as the reward. If I remember correctly. Or 600-something. If it's by itself. Good enough. It's still better XP than what we were getting from the other place. Barely got 1300 for three enemies. I'd rather just one shot for 400. Uh, let's restore our bullets. So I have 40,000 to upgrade the rocket launcher. So I can very easily make this do more damage than the meteor dive. It's already out damaging it, but like, if I upgrade it even just a couple more times, it should just completely eclipse meteor dive. Ooh, it costs 10,000 to do it again. Got another 30. I would like to upgrade it one more time if we can. Another 35. Nice. How much accuracy can I give to it? 2%? Oh, that's not a percentage. I think that matters. Um. Don't think 7,000 is worth it for that upgrade. I don't think any of these others are really worth it. I could upgrade my bullet on the handgun slightly. But I don't think that's as impactful as just saving up for rocket launcher. Do I need more than eight bullets? I have bullet clips I've never even used. I think this is good enough. So we added about 50% more power to this. I think it's pretty good before a boss fight. I have enough money I could get an armor upgrade, but I don't think the armor here was worth it. I'm just gonna double check real quick. Actually, you might be the guy I have to talk to. Uh, I mean, at this point, it's kind of cheap relative to how much money I have. I guess I could buy that. I don't think I'm going to miss 2,000 cash at the moment. I don't think I'm going to bother upgrading uh, Cowboy, though. So there we go. We'll save our money for more important equipment. So I need to save up a lot more cash for Rocket Launcher. I think that's going to be worth dumping basically all of our cash into until we get like a super, super, super strong weapon. It should be around here somewhere. 
So basically, the people that don't have 2,000 health now are somewhat tanky. Prism Ray... Could kill it with Trickster, maybe. Uh, I guess I'll rob one of them. Has nothing. Thank you, game. Love it. Ooh, not quite enough to kill the other enemies still. So at this point, I'm going to save up all my cash for another rocket launcher upgrade, since it clearly does really good damage. Oh, I forgot to use the inn. Um, that's fine. I have enough magic carrots to carry me, I think. Should be fun. Oh, I forgot. We, we restored the bullets, but not the MP. Oh well. Back to Giant's Cradle. Sound like we don't have spare magic carrots. Large stone door with this weather piece of paper next to the small hole. Sacrifice the innocent hearts of the sleeping giant. So I'm presuming each of these we just use manually. Now we're in Giant's Cradle. Hmm. This is the crib of eternal sleep. No one must interrupt it. Another... I don't want to get another spell. No, <laughs> there's so many spells. I don't... I think I could learn every spell at this point, I think. Or we're going to be only like a couple shy if I can't already. We have, I think, 15 or 16 unused spell glyphs. We had at most, I think, five black magic and the rest are white magic. There's 16 total white spells I can learn, and I already have a couple of them. Hmm. Here's the very questionable quote-unquote vampires again. I guess I could keep trying to go for the insta-kill here. We'll never see it activate chat. <laughs> Prism Ray doing its job. Like, is it just like level requirement? Is that why I can't learn this? This is now like the ninth or tenth time I've used it and it's not resulted in anything. Oh. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Rude. Not that injured. So what do I... What do I do to bait this? I don't understand how to get past the spear. Like, do I have to walk into it? Oh. I didn't realize you keep bouncing when you're on the spikes. Like, is there a place I could stop after leaving the spikes like this? No. I don't get how to trigger the spear without getting hit by it. Unless I just have to be far from it. Or I could just damage boost through it, I guess. Don't know what the intended solution was for that, but we'll move on. It seemed only proximity related, but there wasn't a place to stand. I don't know. Like, hiding in the alcove didn't really help me, it just made it go slower.
There we go. Divide shot has been learned. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna damage boost. Oh no. I'm getting a little annoyed at how many puzzles we're doing, I'm not gonna lie. So, can I, can I walk around this? I can't tell. No. Sometimes you are allowed to walk diagonal, so... What is my goal here? To just push it down, right, and then up again? It's kind of tedious, but I guess I could do it. If it won't let me just move on the corner. I mean, in real life, you would just hop the corner. I'm just saying, like, you just walk across the gap. But if you want me to do this, I could do it this way. Oh, did I push it too far? You've got to be kidding me. Do this again. Do this again. They made this annoying on purpose. Because the thing is, like, when I let go, it just, it goes a certain distance. That's not far enough. One push, there we go. In real life, you've not hopped the corner. It's literally a step. You don't even have to hop. You just stretch your legs. An easy step. That was so rude. Did you see that? It put the trap right where I was. So, so if I'm holding down to go to the next area, it triggers. That is so rude. That is so rude, Chan. Did, seriously, did, did it like bump? Wait, what? Oh, you're just being finicky with me. Is it just going to be nothing but traps on the way down? I'm not sure if I prefer this to random encounters or not. Rude. I knew it was going to do that. I let go, but your character slides. So annoying. Like that. These fights are not worth it. <laughs> I feel myself getting increasingly annoyed at the game. Can we go back to like fights that were actually worth XP, please, if you're gonna force random encounters? I beg of you. Put the three Raid Masters back in. They were worth XP. Don't give me whatever that is on the left. You're not worth it. So yeah, I'm really hoping advanced magic or something gives me the ability to skip encounters. As I am like, of like the encounters on this stream so far are so abundant and I need a break from them. Okay, what do you want me to do? Pick this up and not get hit by the spikes. I mean, don't I just throw it then? I'm not gonna dodge the trap. It doesn't do enough damage. Just wanted the item. Oh, what are you? All ru all rune? Well, I'm gonna shoot it in its face. Cuts enemy HP in half. Ew. I don't wanna use that. Chat, why cut their HP in half when you could just cut them in half? 
I'm gonna burn them. Come on, Rob, burn them. Okay, are you worth XP? If you're worth XP, I won't get mad. Oh, it seemed effective against them. 2,400. Uh, if there was one more, that would have been nice. I'm close enough to leveling that it almost doesn't matter. If we could fight three of those, that would be worth it. It's still not as much XP as that one encounter was in the other place. Now we're fighting fallers. Thank you for hanging around, Black Spidey. Hopefully your day goes well. I'm just gonna burn them again. Ooh, not enough to kill. Hmm. The weakness is in fire. They actually have quite a lot of HP. Or maybe it's still fire, we'll find out. Pretty good damage. Rob's putting in the work in this session. Oh, this might kill with a crit. Yeah, it'll kill with a crit. Oh, they're worth half the XP? Why? Chat, like, th this is my complaint right here. Why was the fight with two enemies before 2400, but that fight was worth 1200? Why is that fight 50% less experience? Game, please. <laughs> Stuff like that annoys me so much. It's just like, I I don't want to fight them if they're going to give so low XP. It doesn't make sense to do so. Let me use a uh, secret sign, maybe. Nah, I can hold on to it. Let me do a magic carrot on him for now, and then do one of these. Knew you were going to put a pit in front of me because you're rude. So we finally found the giant. The Fort of the Gods is an invulnerable machine protected by a magic seal. This is where the lines blur between defense and offense. Are we gonna fight the giant or something? Um, HP looks okay. Only took one trap's worth of damage. Can it be? Another one sleeps in this desolate ruin. It's one of the eight powers from a thousand years ago. Wait, when did they start referring to the golems as powers? Is is this a new development chat, or did they always refer to the golems as powers? I'm confused. I know Hunter was talking about attaining the power. Did he mean a golem? A weapon built by the humans to fight the demon race. Well, what should we do now? We need to figure out how to operate this thing. I know, it's an overwhelming feeling. So, the only thing you... The only useful thing this does is fight. Is that what you're trying to tell me? We're going to awaken it to fight. A sword is made for cutting and a spear for stabbing. Mercy is precious, but mercy can also be an indulgence in a world like ours. I'm sorry, but let's ask that strange professor. She seems okay. You mean Emma and Aldehyde? Oh, right. I also need money for Aldehyde. I kind of forgot about that. Well, I guess I could do that for later. Wait, are you telling me I went all the way down here just to have to leave and come back again? Oh. I'm gonna eek out of here. No thank you. I'm glad we have that escape spell chat. That would have been a big waste of time. That cut like 25 minutes plus chat, I'm telling you. No way was I walking back out of there. XP was not worth it. Uh, Aldehyde might have been the first of the dots. I want to see what's over here briefly though. We should hopefully just completely outspeed, but we'll see. Yeah. Gilberry acquired, kind of worth it. So I could go back to Saint Centaur from here if I want to. Good to know. Right now I don't need to do anything with it. 
I don't recall how much I needed for Aldehyde. I was kind of expecting a, bo a boss, to be honest, to get more money, also. Also, he walked in the perfect position to stop me from running. What a god. Okay, so he doesn't have any new techniques to teach us. So he's saying that the town is gradually being repaired. My rocket launcher is at a pretty good place for now. Saying the cobblestones are fixed. The whole place still looks like trash. Okay, we could provide 10,000 now. Okay, so there, we're not getting any more prompts. So I think I finished the donations for now, which is good. Because I didn't have much more to give anyway. Oh, this person says in the legends, a piece of the missing heart of the giant is in the tri-pillar. He said in the inner sea. So if we talked to her, we would have had a reason to go to the tri-pillar. I thought it was the end of the world when the monsters attack. I feel much better now that all these repairs are going on. There's a flower named Sweet Candy. I heard the name was also used for a ship. Hmm. I'm assuming the professor is in here. He found another golem in the back of a ruin. Please take me there. You won't be sorry. I've experienced from the tomb of Lolitha, remember? Lucky for you and lucky for me. Why do I feel like I'm the only one talking here? Guess I have the traits of a person born to be in charge. Okay, Phil Gaia Defense Force. Let's go take a look at this golem. Hmm. I'm hoping as soon as we enter, I don't have to redo the whole dungeon, but we'll see. Um, I don't even think I'm going to pay to replace my bullets. And I don't think I need to heal at all either, because I used magic carrots expecting a boss. We do the dungeon except as an escort mission. Hopefully not. I mean, I don't think it'll be an escort mission, but I really hope we don't have to redo the dungeon. That would be super tedious. That will actually put me in a genuinely bad mood if I have to redo this dungeon. I really don't like backtracking, and the fact that we have to come back here again is already kind of annoying. Good, at least it teleported us here. Never thought I would see this while still in my 30s. Hey you guys, this is great! You must have good karma, like me! I'm gonna check it out. Hey Mousy, give me a hand, you look like a candidate. What? What does that mean? There we go. Here's what I've learned so far. I call this guy the Earth Golem. Found some ancient writing on him pertaining to the Fort of the Gods. It's written on the shield mechanism located on both sides of the arms. Since the ruin is in such good condition, the Golem is in perfect working order. The thing just stopped working right now. It's alive. Unlike Lolita, this golem is just sleeping. I tried to wake it, but it needs more than a little shove. Don't worry. When it comes to these matters, there's nothing I can't do. Let's go, Mousy. Try again. Meanwhile... Why won't you wake up? Get up, why? After a thousand years, nothing has changed. People just want to use me as a weapon. I was worried we were going to have like a rogue galaxy heart to heart with the small child and the robot or something. I was born in a house that was a little different from ordinary people. As I grew up, I was looked after every inch of the way. What was really important for the people was the symbol I represented. Everyone thinks that because I am royalty, I'm expected to act as one. The people only like me because I'm the princess. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you all my problems. I thought you might understand. You didn't want to be born as a weapon either.
You can understand me? No. Everyone wants to use you as a weapon. No one must know that you're awake. Please remain asleep until this is over. I, I don't know who's saying this. If you hear past my voices, if you can hear the cry of the people under fire, you must wake of your own free will. There we go. You know what, chat? Somehow I'm not surprised that Japan, even doing a thing about the Wild West, still made it about Mecca. <laughs> I guess I should have seen it coming, chat. Hell, I tried everything in Nada. You, what did you do? Nothing. I was just talking to it. It decided on its own to get up. Who the hell cares? Now we have the power. We have the ancient antidote to the demons. No, it's not our weapon. It's joining us as a member of the group. Hey guys, see? The Earth Golem is in agreement. The voice pattern of the princess is now registered in the Golem's memory. Please, lend me your big hand for the future. You're right, Mecha were very common in the Old West. Future where you're no longer needed as a weapon. Gundam the Kid, that's true. How could I forget that famous figure? Up we go. Try the Earth Golem. Walk to the Golem and push Accept button. There you go, chat. Accept the Golem into your heart. You and dismount the Golem by pressing the Cancel button. It's large enough to walk across shallow water, but too large to go through a forest. Shields on both sides keep enemies away while traveling. Oh, now you give me a way to avoid encounters? It's a little low on output. Too bad we can't expect more from it. I'm sure we'd like to upgrade its shield. It's a defensive Golem, but it's not made for battle. But it could cover a lot of ground. I have to get back to Aldehyde to study the data from this discovery. We have things to try out. Could lead to a new Emma motor. Yo, did she just steal our boat? Oh, she brought it back. I was gonna say. Clunka clunka chat. Alright, well, I guess I'll go this way. Clunka clunka chat. Where does this go exactly? My caravan that's as large as us. Oh. Yeah, I'll buy like another 37 healing items, whatever. I was gonna say, we're living our raw cast life with the clunka clunka. Danger the snow monster is not for you to fight, perhaps. Is that a hint that there's like a super enemy here? I mean, I would love to save to go fight it. I guess I'll go back and save somewhere. Unless, I don't think I could save in the overworld. Let's come back to this. Yeah, I want to see how hard it is. Uh, I think I could save at this town, even though it's destroyed. Oh, our HP and MP are fully restored for some reason in between. Well, I'm still gonna go save, because I want to see how hard the snow monster is. Or heal berries, which I'm okay with. 
I do one more of those. Look, chat, free healing. Yay, the town's destroyed. So let's save for the first time in a while, because I would like to not redo any of that if we could avoid that. And then if we seem to be in a super boss fight, I will use a card on it. Yeah, Hunter now at level 26. <laughs> putting, putting girl even further behind. Rip girl's XP. She did die a few times. Sometimes my fault. One was definitely 100% my fault. I greeted for uh, not using a boss heal. Others are indirectly my fault. Oh, yeah, what are, what are the encounters like over here? Let's check each area once for fights. Just because I'm curious if they're actually worth XP or not. And if they're not worth XP, I don't fight them. It is worth at least seeing what enemies are like in the new area, but after a while, it's like, I don't want to see them more than once. So how hard is this fight? Oh, just critters? Oh yeah, not worth it. Well, I guess on the plus side, I might have gotten more casual healing for later, which will matter more as our HP goes up. Okay, so that fight was not worth it. Okay, let's see how hard the quote-unquote snow monster is. Should probably bring the Klunka Klunka a little closer. So somewhere, he, so we can't go through the forest. You could go around the forest if I need to. National Treasure Photosphere Excavation Site Off Limits, Kingdom of Antarctica. Alright, so let's just get into some fights. So based off of the what we saw before in the cutscene, the Photosphere should just be around the corner. Which feels like this game should be over very quickly, but obviously something's gonna happen. Storm Drake. Well, I'm gonna shoot you in the face, as is normal tradition here. Tell him he's wide open. He looks like a mini-boss. Do you have any items? You do, but I couldn't steal. Classic. See how much damage he does. Purple Electric Revised? What? That's quite an attack name. Guess I'll rob him. Man, I wish there was an AoE heal spell. Still couldn't steal. Okay, so it's not super hard to kill. 2,000 experience. Eh. Okay. Teach everybody about fringing real quick. I mean, maybe I'll get into a fight outside the forest and I'll fight quote unquote the snow monster. Right, chat? Right near the sun? Foon Baba. Like baboons, I suppose. Uh. Do a normal shot. Trickster. Kirk plus plus. I did a lot of damage. Ooh, perilous. Not great. Do we get any items? Has nothing, of course. Right, chat, roll your eyes. A trickster is so bad in this game. Holy. Did zero. Oh, that sucks. Meteor dive. I'm gonna have her heal. So it seems like enemies are starting to get resistant to Valkyrie slash Kirk plus plus, which is kind of unfortunate. Did you seriously paralyze the character that was going to unparalyze? That really just happened? That's irritating. I mean, I'm going to keep attacking. Hopefully stop them from striking me. Do 
Please don't hit my only character that can move. Okay, that's fine. So these guys are kind of tanky. They had like 1800 health. Nice little attack there. I think I'm going to summon Guardian. Suddenly Centaur chat. That did so little damage. Man, Jack Guardians suck. <laughs> just never using them again. At this point, I'm completely dissuaded from using them as a mechanic. They're just so bad. Can they please hit Condition Green so I can attack? Thank you. This goes towards killing them faster. Hopefully this kills, thanks to the counterattack. Possibly. That was terrible! I got 1600 for how hard that fight was? Seriously? Oh, that's how you make me mad. That, that is how you piss me off. <laughs> Are you telling me that fight where I got completely shut out, they did like 500 damage, is worth a third of the raid people that barely did any damage? Screw you, Wild Arms. I'm not doing any more random encounters here. Not worth it at all. Chad, that should have been at least, like, 3,000. Can we all agree? That fight was harder than some of the bosses we've done in terms of, like, the shutout. Like, I got completely shut out in a normal encounter. That doesn't normally happen. So stupid. All right, what's over here with Clunka Clunka? Come on, exit the vehicle. Port seam? What's this? Village of orphans and people running from the monsters. Okay, well, I'm gonna sleep here to get my stats back. Then we're hopefully gonna get our bullets restored. Nothing on this screen I have to worry about. When I'm here, when I'm watching the children, I see a glimpse of hope in the wasteland. Oh, that's just begging for this town to be destroyed. Wow, do you see the babe that came out of that huge mansion? What a set of legs. Gross. Uh, let's talk to you. This gives me the creeps. Yeah, it gives me the creeps too. Please make yourself at home. Children like songs about heroic knights slaying monsters. Another spell, potentially. Mr. Maxwell came to this town and spent his fortune on the children. Long time ago, Mr. Maxwell began researching ancient technology in the town of Malama. Moved here to the house... Oh, to house orphans that he took in from the wastelands. A lot of work to raise that many orphans. Two daughters act like his big sister, so all the orphans. I don't see anything in here to do yet. Well, we're gonna go in the suspicious basement. I'm Nikolai Maxwell, an arms meister in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of the six who studied at the old man's lab. The Zephet Rough Knight Laboratory led in the study of ancient technology. And you? What? Cowboy? Rough Knight? You're the old man's grandchild? Sorry, we used to call Meister Zephet the old man. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. Oh, oh, I guess we're getting lore. Cowboy started to talk about his dream chaser days before he met Hunter and Girl. Everybody's fleeing. <laughs> I just left it. Th Zephyr Roughnet. He thought of Zephyr as his father. He's an old dream chaser who had raised cowboy since infancy. I love if just the old man whipped out a Gatling gun chat. <laughs> He's like, let me deal with the monsters. This. <laughs> that would be amazing. Too bad it probably won't happen.
During their travels, Zephyr taught Cowboy the life of a dream chaser. But most importantly, he gave Cowboy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. I guess we're in full backstory mode, apparently. One day, the inevitable happened. The old man's traveling days came to an end. Cowboy was now tasting the true meaning of being alone. Tasting the true meaning? I've used that word that way, but sure. Cowboy buried the remains of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. I'm sorry to hear that. He was... That's quite an arm you've got there. Do you know how to use it properly? I guess that arm would not have synchronized with you if you did not know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with an arm. Ugh. And not nearly as powerful as what you have here. Papa, I'm home. What are you guys doing at my house? Jane, do you know these people? No, no, Papa. I met them just a little while ago. Huh? Why are you in such a hurry? I'll be upstairs. Please, make yourself at home. Jane is a good daughter. It's because I heard that I could keep the orphanage running. Oh, are we really going with the Rudy Tales of Destiny? She seems selfish, but she's the person with the heart of gold because all the money is for the children. I guess we're going with that angle, chat. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you will find the epitaph of the sea wind. It is an incomplete tower we used in the research of a flight machine. The research Meister Zephyr and myself left behind may be junk to some, but you might find a use of some of it. Take this key. It may look funky, but it will get you inside. Many of Zephyr's belongings from before Cowboy were, was born are still there. Wind-up key acquired. Okay. Alright, so he'll... This guy will allow us to modify. I think we're at the point where modifications are not worth it. Party Apple acquired. Again, we're just gonna make our healer the tankiest character possible. Hmm. I have seven refills of bullets. That's kind of crazy. So far, I've not really had a use of them, but if we get in another extended dungeon, it'll probably be useful. It looks like nothing to gather on this floor. Okay, there is something over there. Thank you for what you've done for my mistress. We we're holding a humble banquet on your behalf. Mistress is waiting for you. Hope you have a good time. Wait, where was she waiting for? Oh, she's outside. I thought she said she'd be upstairs, not outside. Hey, you didn't tell my pops that I'm Calamity Jane, did you? I'll never forgive you if you gave him even the slightest hint. Agile Apple acquired. I probably want to give it to our spellcaster at this point, because she's like getting further and further behind. Alright, so no new dialogue there. What if I talk to the butler again? Whatever. There's still an item somewhere in town to find. Blah, 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 blah. Get out of there. <laughs> I don't really care what he has to say. We talked to him earlier. Um... How many spells are we up to, by the way? 16, jeez. So I can literally fill out all the white magic if I wanted to. And still have left over. Next time the boss comes back, we're gonna go on a picnic. Hmm. 
I'm assuming because the shields up are at the photosphere, I can't progress regardless. I just assumed it was there. Uh, let's give him more strength. My sister and I grew up in the orphanage, so we presumably need something to get through the light barrier. Even children must stick together. So I guess we... I guess unintentionally went towards the plot? I just skipped being told that I can't do anything at the other place. Mystic Apple acquired. Let's give that to girl. I feel like her magic damage was falling off a little bit, sadly. Power of fire? Whatever. Actually, what does Demon Ring do? Does that do anything special? It's just power of evil. I'm not sure what those do. I'm not going to bother spending money on it yet. If all it does is boost, like, damage and elemental resist, I don't know if I super care. Until we get AoE. When we get, like, AoE fire, maybe it'd be worth it. Or it could do, like, AoE win, technically. It'd be worth it. So there's no other items to attain. Proud of our boss. I'm going to be like her. We called her our boss for years. It's unusual to call her sister Jane. And we? Jane is our breadwinner. We have no idea how she gets the money. Okay, so it is just Rudy from Tales of Destiny 1. Jessica is beautiful and very nice. Jane is the toughest when it comes to fighting, but she's also the nicest of all. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we... We got characterization, I guess? Well, I didn't see anything interesting there, so we'll move on for now. So there's a sacred shrine over here, which I probably want to go to. Let's see what's here. Burial will prevent demons from entering. Okay. There's no items here. Ah, uh, a place where I can use the duplicator. I was about to say, I wasn't sure where we could use it. Ocean berry, magic carrot, press graph, revive fruit, secret sign. Honestly, not a hole I'm really impressed with. And we got another duplicator. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> okay, well now I can't complain. No, I can't complain. It literally just gave me the item back. It's like, here you go. <laughs> okay. I guess that works. Well, I suppose we made progress. I could make one of our spells cheaper. I don't really care about Divide Shot. Could make the AoE cheaper. Let's make Divide Meteor Dive lower. I'm gonna wait till we get new abilities to see if there's anything else worth using it on. Secret book? What is that? It's a ranger items. I don't... Oh, there it is. Magic book for the left hand. Is it an upgrade over what we're using with girl? Ooh, that is a significant damage increase. Go from 169 to 197 and also get magic resistance. So she's actually getting pretty tanky now. So I think giving her vitality was the right call. She's now our tankiest character, by far. There's one usable item in the whole room. Got a little bit of cash. Oh, apparently more than one in this room somewhere. I assume it's one of you. Nope. Hey. Oh, it's oh, it's in the corner. Oh, that's sneaky. I like that. Cash-wise, we're doing okay again, if I need to buy equipment. I still don't know what the purpose of this place is, but we're here and we're robbing it, so that's always nice. Another potion berry. So we're getting a lot of boss heals. That's good. Because so far I... Oh, there's another place I could use the duplicator. There is something in this room. Powerful seal that could withstand quite a powerful attack. Hmm... Oh, 
Oh, so on the... Hmm. So I'm gonna have to remember there is a sacred temple... Write this down. Sacred temple... Also wrote Forest Near Rosetta Inactive Machine. We'll have to check that out again later. Sacred Temple near Count or Court Ream or something. Needs something to break seal. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Maybe something will happen later. Maybe maybe the demons break through and this becomes a dungeon later. I'm just trying to think like what we would even unlock that would be a tool. Unless holy metal does something. I guess I should check that briefly. Nope. Nope. I don't think we have anything else worth using. I got a full revive. So we have seven safety revives. We can't buy those, so I gotta be careful not to just burn them in stupid encounters. I'm gonna use the duplicator again. Try taking me on. Sh sure. Let me take this one. Let me take this one. I only use one hand. Well, I made Meteor Dive cheaper. So it went from, I think, 6 down to 3 MP. I'm just gonna one-shot them. Not taking any risks here. I don't know, I don't know how much damage they do. They do an okay amount. Rock Gazer. Ouch. So they're Saras... Sarasenians? Thank you, Cheaper Meteor Dive. At some point, I could probably reduce it down to zero if I want to. Because I think no matter what, this is probably always worth using. It's like a single target. If I run out of MP, potentially, it could make this super good. But again, now I'm not sure if I can use it because other characters wanted them earlier. Which is a little unfair that they made that a mechanic, to be honest. 3,600 XP, much better than other places. That was too easy. Astral Hint acquired. Teach him about fringing. Yeah, there is an item in here. A little bit of cash. This goes back up some stairs. So I think then we did everything we needed to do. So I think we went around in a big circle already. Hmm. I'll just check one more time to make sure we didn't miss anything, and then we'll move on. But it feels like I got everything now, so I did use up the duplicator. Welcome, Kerr. Yeah, that's where we used the duplicator earlier. So if we, if we do have to come back here, we know we just have to go straight down the stairs. We're gonna ignore the side rooms later. I guess we use the duplicator to go get a fast draw technique? We'll have to come back here when we have something more substantial. Okay, so this just kind of leads back to this area. Okay. I think we got everything then. So let's just use magic to get out of here. So I learned another technique, sort of. Time to clunka clunka to a new area. So let's see, Chad. How horrible are the enemies here? Let's read the sign. 
Just to see when here lies obscure memories of a master and his disciples. So I'll get into one fight here. It's all you've earned, game. I'll even go in the forest just for you. Oh, this might actually be good XP. I don't know how much Haberum is worth, but the gels were worth a decent amount. We'll prison ray them. I'll try to use my new technique on you. We'll Kirk them in case they don't die. Ooh, he's very weak. I one-shot him. Hmm. Let's see how much XP this is worth. Almost as much as that other fight that was like 20 times harder. Thanks, game. I guess that was okay for the speed. Now in the Epitaph C. There's a tank here. Some kind of mechanical device that seems trashed. Good sound effect though. Hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe I have to use the wind up key on the robot. Do some melee moves here. Slash rave has been mastered. That one took way less time to learn. Ooh, another miss there is kind of bad. Nice kill. She did get silenced, so we have to cure that at some point. She's like the only character where it really matters for now. Although, arguably, as I'm just doing normal encounters, I don't need it to be cured. Multiple slashes slash enemy. Could be good. Let's use the key on this. And then it blew up? <laughs> Wow, that seems like a rude use of the key. Bye, robot. I guess it killed you for no reason. Okay, thank you for sticking around, Rob. Hope you have a good day. I mean, we just robot murdered for no reason. Spell is so slow, and it confused us. That's really unfortunate. How much damage does this do? You're wide open. Please help me on bad. Thank you for the follow. That did very little damage. I have to say, I'm not impressed with the damage it just dealt there. That was pretty bad compared to Meteor Dive. It did 700, which was about as strong as our normal strike. I'm just gonna compare the damage real quick. Yeah, it did half the damage of Meteor Dive. Unfortunate. More XP, got more money. Yeah, I was not impressed with it at all. I was hoping it would at least do as much as Meteor Dive. Instead, it's like now four times as much. And it did basically nothing. I don't think I'm going to be using it. To oh, I'm still confused. That's annoying. I don't think I'll be using it for pretty much a long time, if ever. I was not impressed with it. It's a very expensive commitment to potentially a really dead attack. I don't usually like doing that kind of stuff. I was hoping it at least would be competitive with the other thing. Push and berry acquired.
Let's just melee and get this out of the way. I mean, I don't think I should be at the point where an ability that costs like an eighth of my MP total does the same damage as a normal attack. I'm, I'm not thrilled if that's a possibility. To me, that's just a waste of time if it happens. Come on, crit. Nice. Hopefully this kills. Hopefully I can start running from these battles, since their XP is okay, but like, I'm not realistically gonna level, aside from people that are like way under leveled at this point. Because getting less than a thousand when I potentially need 18,000 plus to level is kind of crazy. Yeah, see I would have to do like 13 more fights just to level with her, and that's since the start of the dungeon. Uh, let's get rid of confusion. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna heal her silence until later. So I can't interact with this. I'm assuming I could bomb this. Good assumption. Hmm. Oh, there's an item there. That was rude. Ooh. Duh. I should have gone on the other side. I do want to see what's on the, uh... After this turn, if there's something immediately to the left. But I should have gotten the other item first. That's probably going to force me into another encounter, sadly. Nice, with the crit that you kill. Zer damage is terrible. I flame. AoE fire spell, apparently. Oh, that's sad. It did zero to her. Goodbye, owl snake thing. Wow, chat. She... I didn't try to make her, like, that tanky. That's kind of sad he did literally zero. Another lucky card? Oh, no. Yeah, so there is a door down there. Let's see if the door does anything. Yeah, that was sad. If it can only do 70 to, like, the characters that barely touch their armor, like, that's not good for them. Okay, these enemies seem very easy to kill. If I can kill them with just auto attacks here, I need a crit here to kill. Or, or not. Never mind, I guess she's leveled enough that her strength is relevant. Yeah, goal here is to see if we can run from some of these encounters. A strange trap. What do you, what do you mean? It's a, it's a door. What, what does that mean? A str- What? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go to the switch. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> I too declare a strange trap when looking at a locked door. They could say it's locked by a strange device. Is that what they meant to say? Like, I don't, I don't think that meant what they thought it did. Hopefully we just rapid shoot here and end the encounter. There's enough enemies here that it could be worth my time. Another potion berry acquired. For us, door should be viewed as traps. It's true, my biggest nemesis is Door. Door and all of its brethren. So I guess I just go back this way and then go the long way around again. Okay. No, the door! Are we trapped? Someone has trapped us in. I'm ready. I'll kick as many butts as I have to to get us out of here. Wait, what? I'm going to now choose to cure my silence. This feels like a boss fight. Oh, you can overlay that sound effect? Wait a minute. I guess I ignore it for now. Until it inevitably fights us. There's nothing to really do in here other than go through that door. 
I was gonna say, I would just like to say the old man's place kind of sucks. Did, does, does he like to like ride conveyors to go to his like laboratory? Like, why did he build a place like this? A strange trap. What? Why do you keep calling things a strange trap? It's, it's a door. It's a door. Do I push you? No. Oh, now you say a strange device seals the door. Now you do. Okay. <laughs> right? Like, we're just talking about this. Like, stop calling everything a strange trap. Oh, boy. Okay, so the only thing I can think to do is maybe I bonk it in the head. The Black Shadow says, come with me. Although, looking at this, this is suspiciously looking like Boomerang. So I think we're gonna do the Boomerang fight in a moment. What is he doing? He said, come with me. Oh, you literally want me to follow the exact path? Seriously? Why is this in the game? It feels like it's wasting my time and then the game is going to be like, Ha! Huh, I tricked you for I am the villain. And I'm like, no. I, I kind of knew. You just... Thou shall drink the tea to me. My master awaits. A vibration. It was a guardian. The only guardian who's not lost its powers. Right? Like, all I did was skip one turn. Wow, that was so dumb. I literally went right and up instead of uh, straight up and then right. So dumb. I'm just rolling my eyes, chat. That did not need to be in the game, to be real with you. Anyway. I guess we'll switch over character-wise to you. Yeah, it's like there there are parts of the game that I think shine through. That is not one of them. It's kind of like when we were in what I'll call the memory dungeon, not to be confused with memory temple, but the one where every one of our fears and doubts or whatever kept popping up. And it just had like really unnecessarily long rooms of pushing boxes that was not that exciting. Okay, so we're not immediately fighting anything. Oh, there's Storm Drake again. Uh, I still got a lot of bullets left. I'm just gonna meteor dive. He's boldy. Let's see how this works against the Storm Drake. Goodbye. We'll never find out, apparently. And again, that that fight that took two actions to complete was worth double some of the other fights. Oh, there's more sealed doors. Mystic Apple, Agile Apple, okay. So let's go ahead and use those. Agile Apple on her. I could actually put it on Cowboy. Let me use it on Cowboy. I notice sometimes the apples give more than one to a stat, but I'm not going to reset to get like perfect rolls on the apples it seems like they have a range of one to two there's a book called the wind sea do you want to read it sure the wind sea the great magic of the ancient days is called the ever stretching sky above our heads legendary metal bird once traveled the wind sea with eloquence those were the days when people held reins to the skies can we be masters of the sky once again there's a book entitled erotica do i want to read it I don't want to, but I'm curious what happens. Not yet. There we go. It looks like there's a door behind the bookshelf that maybe we need, it, need a duplicator for. But anyway, it's a book called The History of Artica. Do you want to read it? Sure. The Industrial Society of Artica. Country bound in the snow, yet it holds its life true. The technologies among the many ruins around Artica have made this place a paradise in ice. There's so much to discover in the ruins of Artica. Yeah, I have a feeling maybe a switch will move that bookcase out of the way or something. A strange trap. Why does he keep describing everything like that? Anyway, we're gonna use the mouse to hit the switch. Just 
gonna auto attack here. I think next time I see them, I'm just gonna try running. I wanna get a little extra money for later. And I think this will put me at the total I wanna be at later. Mind damage. You're gonna set my MP. Oh, you are. Oh, wow, this fight is super not worth it then if it drains MP. Wait, that's actually kind of a problem. I mean, I still have 11 uses of Meteor Strike after that. It's just very rude to take my MP. Yeah, this fight does quite a bit of damage to us, and it's not worth our time. Okay. Not worth it. Yeah. It gave, gave us 1800, I guess, but removing MP is kind of bad. Teach everybody about fringing real quick. Metal Bird acquired. This book contains theories and applications for the flying machine known as Metal Bird. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take it in the face. Can we finally go through here? No. So let's try to go through the bookshelf, because presumably something has moved. Something has not moved here yet, really. Hmm. Okay, well I can't do anything there. It looks like an obvious door. What did we open up then? Maybe the door on the far side? Uh, trying not to be in endless encounters. Denied yet again. That is one thing I definitely don't miss about older RPGs. I am not a fan of re really high encounter rates with no ability to navigate around them. So, so far I'm having a mostly good time, but every time we get in one of these fights, where I know I will not level for like another 20 of these, I'll go, mm, would have liked to have skipped it. Would have been nice. Because at this point, I don't really need to use my money on anything. We upgraded Philgaia as far as we could go. Or not Philgaia. Uh, the Castle Town. Aldehyde as much as we could. I can't buy boss healing items, so there's no point for that. I have 29,000, but I don't feel like most of their equipment is worth upgrading outside of Hunters. I mean, we're still using pretty basic armor on Cowboy. Yeah, see that? It only adds 5 defense. So he's still using, I think, the starting armor of the game. And Hunter, we got one in between, because that's all I had money for. Dot dot dot, password. The ones who seek the ocean win, you shall receive the gift of flight. Um... Is... Is the password Metal Bird, but with... Is that with or without a space? Be gone, disbelievers. This is the monolith of the Heaven Seekers. Alright, so I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna put a space and then roll my eyes if this works. Is that a monolith? Whatever. Chat, whatever. <laughs> right, chat, whatever. I knew what the I knew what it was. I just didn't know if it was two words or not. Whatever. So let's go this way. Um I guess I'm ready for a boss fight. I feel like it should have given that to me, I'll be real with you. Yeah, we got the fire ring from earlier. Arrange this. It is weird that canceling out of that menu always pops up that use trade. So, like, what happens if I do this? Oh, it just puts me here. Okay. So, we have a lot of bullet clips, but I don't feel like using any. We have an okay amount of recovery items. We have one Mega Berry, which I don't need for a while. We have 27 boss heals, which is more than good enough. I don't think any of these other abilities matter at all. So at some point I'll bother upgrading his armor off of the base armor. Maybe. I'll think about it, chat. If I have money, I'll do it. Oh, I don't think I have another duplicator. Oh, was I supposed to get a duplicator from somewhere? That sucks. That actually really sucks. 
So I, I used one already earlier. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of unfortunate. I wonder if there was another one somewhere? Hopefully there's one at the end of the dungeon or something. Because we went to the sacred temple and we used two duplicators. So we gained a duplicator, used a duplicator. So hopefully there's one later in the dungeon, because that kind of sucks I can't access this now. I'm pretty sure I don't have one anymore. Yeah, I don't. All right, well, hopefully it's nothing important for now. Tool skates acquired. Cowboy uses roller skates to move. Cowboy can maneuver through different trains without being affected by damage zones on the ground. Okay. There we go. Downside is I don't seem to be able to stop his little charge. On plus side, maybe this doesn't count towards number of steps taken. Look at us go, chat. We'll revive acquire. We're gonna bonk here. So close to going up the stairs without an encounter. So close. Can I leave the encounter, please? Chan, I, I think we can agree. I, I haven't passed a single attempt at escaping. That is pretty ridiculous. Not a single one has worked. That is so sad. Why is this option even in the game? <laughs> it's like... It's not worked for two dungeons now, and I don't feel like I'm underleveled. If this is somehow underleveled, I really question the game, for sure, in terms of balancing. Uh, let's just one-shot you. Are you reconfusing the already confused target? Genius tier. Oh, wait, here's our cheap meteor dive. Goodbye. The level up gave me some MP back, but not in a way that really matters. So you can see the difference. That minor armor upgrade only reduced the damage by at most 20-ish. So yeah, armor has not really been impactful in the game so far. It helped a little bit with Tri-Pillar. Like, if we had gotten a very bad encounter, I think I would have been in trouble with, uh... Girl, I think, specifically. But so far, armor doesn't feel mandatory. So I, I still might choose not to give Cowboy any armor to save ourselves cash. Let's climb the stairs. Is this a duplicator? Be nice if it was. Reflex acquired? What is that? Protector for the left hand. So I'm assuming it's a shield. That he can't use. Oh. That's unfortunate. How much defense would this give out of here? Not that I'm going to switch it. So give him another 6% chance to block. Eh. Rather just have the HP at that point. Hmm. Some kind of mechanical device that seems trashed. I, I guess I could use the wind-up key on these if I still have it. I do. I, I don't know what this did, but I activated them. <laughs> right? Right? Like, I did something. Oh, there we go. Wow, I didn't think it would blow up. The explosion occurred because of the buildup of internal pressure. What? In English, please. English. Energy level got too high and too close of a space. Do you know what happens when energy overloads? You got it. It blows up. I'm going to apply that knowledge to a new fast draw technique. Wait, what? Fast draw hit acquired. A 
guy. Hint from Broken Machine, sure. We murdered those robots just because they died for our sins, chat. How's our XP looking? Two encounters maybe for girl to level, but I'm not gonna bother. If we don't get them, we don't get them. I don't think this is the boss battle here. Human warriors, what do you wish to carve in this epitaph? This is the resting place for the dreams of the sea wind seekers. A new demon, but this one seems a little different. I see that you have followed Lucide's directions well. Lucide, the guardian of desire? Why? Why are you siding with the demons? My name is Boomerang. Here's a little something I've cooked up for your party. Oh, that's true. They did say one of the guardians be did betray us. Oh, they now have the wolf plus ninja combo. Um, I think it's time to shoot. Maybe Lucid in the face. I'll try to trickster it just to confirm it has nothing. We're gonna tell the wolf it's wide open. Has nothing as usual. Boomerang dynamic. That did a lot of damage. So she's still in one touch kill range, even with the best armor I could afford. So that's a bit unfortunate. Black Fang, please don't also target the girl. Seriously? Seriously? We gonna do this again? Is this gonna be another battle? She has good armor, Chad. She's like the only character I upgraded. Really? That actually really irritates me. I'm not gonna lie. What am I supposed to do? They did like even if she levels again, that still basically one shots her. Hunter has enough HP to survive, maybe. Oh, now you only do your 390 attack. Now you split targets. Thanks, game. Wow, that felt really unfair. They did two of their highest damage moves on the same target. So unfair. Uh, you know what? We're gonna use Rocket Launcher. I'm annoyed. Meteor Dive into... Probably Fringe on yourself. Please don't attack first. She is never gonna get experience, Chad. I did not save recently because I did not expect them to do this much damage. I really hope we kill one of them soon. Okay, that did good damage at least. So I'm gonna do a lock on again. And I'm just going to tell him to heal himself. I'm not going to bother reviving her. I don't think it's worth it at this point. Wow, I took so much damage from that, actually. Please die. Okay, good. Now I have a chance of winning, because if they double up like that again, they just kill a character. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I could do. So let's go ahead and use an XP doubler. Oh, fortunately, it didn't kill him there. So Cowboy is our main source of damage, so we're just going to go ahead and lock on again. I'm going to see if this character has anything to steal with Trickster, but probably not, because Trickster is terrible. It never seems to work on bosses so far. A little worried about Cowboy's health, has nothing as usual. So at least if Cowboy dies here, I can say he went down rocketing the person in the face. So I'm just going to go for it again. I'm not going to bother healing with him. I will try to accelerate maybe a potion berry so that he lives. I feel like that's the right call. Nice. 
Uh, I'm gonna use Lock On again. If I had enough for Sonic Vision, I would have used it there. Let's just do normal healing on ourselves. Even if he crits, even if he hits us with the super attack, it shouldn't kill us. So now we should be able to get a free attack here. So hopefully he'll die in like one more move. So I'm assuming this rocket launcher will put him pretty close to death, if not kill him. Yeah. So let's go for regular pistol. And I'm going to do Sonic Vision and see if we can kill him here. Okay, not quite enough to kill, but probably pretty close. Well, that did some big damage to us. Let's use Lock On and then go for, I think, just Meteor Dive. I think we just go for the kill here. I don't think I should bother healing. If he does not die from this, we might be in trouble. Really? He is over 10,000 HP? That's unfortunate. Well, this could be a game over for us, depending on how he hits us. Let me, maybe I can win with an Accelerate here to not die in case he outspeeds. I'm going to use a fast heal here. Just in case. Uh -oh. We may be in trouble. All right, so that would have killed Hunter without that heal. Please kill. Okay, there we go. Pathetic fools going up against the demon race. Oh, he didn't have any money? Oh, that was kind of not worth it on many levels. The cycle of desire never ends. Lucy lives. Wish to defeat me, you must attain the miracle you seek. You can win that for yourself. I shall appear again. He was just testing us. Yeah, that was pretty lame. So, so much for having, like, good amounts of cash. So, yeah, she... I think if I had been, like, level 27, she might have lived. She... I think she literally needs a minimum of, like, 1580, and I don't think a level up there would have put me at that total. Because she took, I think it was like, what was it, 800 and 700 or something like that? So she needed a lot of HP to survive that attack. Rune Drive acquired. Hmm. Hmm. So we never found another duplicator, which is a bit concerning. I wonder if it's worth exploring a little bit down further again. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, you know what? I think I know what to do. At the very beginning of the dungeon, there was a place I could skate. If that gives me a duplicator, that's going to make me so sad because that means I have to redo basically the whole dungeon again. If I remember correctly. Yeah, remember this? Oh, that really sucks. Sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta climb the dungeon again. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. At least this seems to avoid some encounters. So this is useful for me, because I definitely don't want more random encounters. There we go. Uh, I think I gotta go this way. Ooh, I forgot there wasn't a wall there. So, so far this is somewhat useful in skipping encounters. I just don't remember where to go from here. Is it like down into the left? 
No. Maybe we just climb the ladder. So, so far no encounters is nice. Hmm, where did I see that door? I thought it was maybe this way somewhere. No, this is the top. Alright, so somewhere there was a room where I had to use the duplicator. I did not remember how to get to it. Was it... Oh, you can't get attacked on the ladder? That kind of sucks. Please let me run. Chat, 0% success rate. Game, please. I don't want to do any more fights. I'm level 27. They, it takes almost as many fights as my level in order to level off of this. There, there has to be a point in which success should be guaranteed on run. I feel like this should have been one of them. Because now they're just sapping all my MP. So I got punished really hard for trying to avoid the encounter for this exact reason. How irritating. Well, I don't have enough to one-shot anymore. Guess I'll just do normal attacks. Okay, so it's probably then in the small room where the bookshelf was. And then hopefully that'll be the last we have to do in this dungeon. We're gonna go back to the other area to heal our MP, I think. Save our carrots for later. In case we have another split up dungeon kind of thing. Okay, yeah, it's definitely over here. So let's see, what was the reward for coming back here? More spells I don't want to use, secret sign which I don't care about, bullet clip. I'm gonna say so far that was the worst treasure of the ones that we've come across. Only three treasures, and then it wasn't even like stuff we haven't already received. It's pretty disappointing to be honest. Let's go ahead and leave. I guess I go back to the court. So let's rest and then presumably present to him the glyph. Why couldn't I run through the door? Okay. I'm also noticing I haven't been given an ability to restore my bullets anywhere. I guess that's why it gave me bullet clips. It'd be really lame to be forced to use them because there's just no arms dealer. Because I'm at one rocket launcher use and six regular bullets, which is not good. Maybe the guy in the maybe there's another guy in the basement of the other place that lets me do it. Because I don't think I came across anybody else that did anything of that nature. Hmm. Yeah, nobody's new dialogue here. Yeah, I have. To, I just would prefer not to have to burn bullets because the game just arbitrarily doesn't have somebody to reload them here. It's not like I'm in danger. It's just more annoying than anything else. Where is somebody that can get bullets? There's nobody up here still. I'm going to talk to not Maxwell first, but the person next to him to see if he... No, because he just had upgrades. So who restores bullets in this place? Um, I think I'm going to upgrade the rocket launcher. 40 attack. It was definitely the boss MVP item, so empowering that just kind of made sense. So I guess we broke the no armor upgrade challenge, quote unquote. But I feel like the game is getting slightly more difficult. So I would like them to not fall really, really far behind if we can avoid it. Talk with Calamity Jane. 
I was opposed to today's party. Book entitled Controlling a Golem. Do you want to read it? Sure. Golems are voice activated by a pre-registered voice. They can also be controlled by a musical instrument being played at a certain frequency. Well, that probably would have been more relevant to read before we went to the other place, but sure. We found the missing rune drive. Never thought it would be hidden in Epitaph. I'll explain about the rune drive tomorrow. You must come. My daughter is waiting. We have a little banquet planned for you. Oh, fade to black. Oh, just let me talk to one of you. Must tell me about you guys. She doesn't usually talk about strangers. It'd be fun if every day was a party. The rune drive that you have only works as part of a pair. If the other drive of the pair. Use the pair to unleash the true power of the Earth Golem. I saw them first thing in the morning. Hoping I would come across something that I could do for you. Oh, hey, chat. How long do you think before the big bad demon decides to, re decides to wreck the town? I'm thinking as soon as we go to leave town, something happens. It's been a while. It's good to see you all again. Hey, every hey, when everyone is asleep, can you sneak out for a bit? Something I need to talk to you about. My boss looks cool. My days are full of life when boss is back in town. Wish she'd stay every day. Within the hour? Yeah, that's good. I imagine they're all going to be forced to evacuate in the shelter we saw earlier. Shall we wrap up the party and call it a night? No, not quite. All the children of the orphanage are like brothers and sisters. Speaking of sisters, there's the nun. A time like this, I think you get a little crazy. This cleansing light will purify you. Come back anytime you feel impure. I'll make you feel better. Is it right for me to be having this much fun? Whatever, we're gonna go to sleep. We're party poopers. Please wait a minute. Your beds will be ready a little later. Feel bad making you hang out with me because I couldn't sleep. I didn't wake anyone, did I? Isn't it silly that Calamity Jane became a treasure hunter for a bunch of orphans? Thanks, cowboy. I knew I could count on you. I used to live in Malama, but we spent our money taking care of ki the kids. We drifted all the way to this desolate place, and here we are. Hate this kind of life, but what can I do? I hate my father for giving people false hope. Kindness and care have no place in this wasteland. Gives people hope just to have it shattered by reality. That's cruel. You're making this journey to protect Filgaia, right? Why? Why are you doing this? For money? For fame? To be like a king, like in the fairy tales? Any of those reasons are fine. Just don't tell me it's for some noble cause like saving the world. I just like it when kindness is thrown at just anyone. Kindness should be personally valued and expressed only to those you care about. Otherwise, I'm hurt that you saved me just because you felt obligated to. Sometimes I think a day will come when Dawn will no longer appear. Promise me, cowboy. So we officially have a better day-night cycle in Wild Arms than Trials of Mana. <laughs> right, chat? See how it naturally advanced the, the graphics without needing to pause the game? Promise me you're risking your life because you love Vilgaia. That's the reason why you can sacrifice so much, right? If not, I'll never be able to like you do-gooder types. Jane's words seep deep inside, inside Cowboy's heart. Protector force acquired? Oh, there we go. I tend to run into these situations a lot. I came here this morning because I have a matter to discuss with the pretty lady. Could you kindly deliver the Rune Drive rumored to be in your mansion to us within three hours? If you don't deliver it, we'll slaughter everyone in sight in order to find it. Do we understand one another? I'll assume you'll make the right decision. Well, we can't just sit here. I must go wake everyone up. She's 100% likable. In the past, I excavated the other rune drive from the other ru another ruin. Just in case, I hit the rune drive in the sacred shrine in the south to the... Oh, to the south in the forest. Oh, the thing we couldn't open. The sacred field prevents monsters from entering the shrine. Uh-oh. How are they going to get in? Are they going to disguise themselves as a person or something? We'll evacuate everyone to the shrine. Please watch over the village for us. Jane, please watch over the people of the village. Gotcha! Oh, so she's probably gonna take it out of the box? And that might depower the barrier, maybe? I feel like she's gonna betray people. 
it's too quiet. Are the demons late? So we never got an ability to restore. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to use one of our bullet clips on rocket launcher. I'm going to save the rest for later. Oh, does that mean the inn is free now? In which case, I love this town. Oh, it won't let you rest. Oh, whatever. Maybe we should blow up this town so it's like Saint Centaur for the free healing. So she's now probably underleveled. Everybody else feels potentially overleveled. I think this... There's something wrong here. No one's attacking. They advertised it enough. What's going on? I didn't know where the rune drive was. That's why they appeared in this village and... What? What for? Normal reaction threat of imminent attack is to evacuate. The safest place, where would that be? The pyramid that controls the dimensions is in the forest to the south. Oh, Al Alhazad. He's always one step ahead. Yeah, this town sucks. <laughs> bonk, 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 chat. Into the sacred shrine we go. Oh, no more barrier. Someone disabled the defense systems. There's monsters all over the place. I mean, I should get in one fight. I'll get in one fight to level her. How's that, chat? She is, like, literally one battle from doing it. Hmm could do something like this, maybe. Goodbye, cat monster. So hopefully this will be enough. Just to give her a little extra boost of HP. So let's see, she was at 1420. Would she have been in the 1500s? Nope. So I would have needed to level her with 19 more battles. So I do not feel bad, because 1490 I don't think would have survived that other attack. Or if it did, she would have been maybe at one at best. Uh, so we're through here. Mr. Maxwell's in the other room guarding the treasures, helping him by guarding this room against monsters. It's weird that I can't cancel the motion by doing anything. Oh, hello. Random attack. Orc Lord, that's a new enemy. Um, I'm gonna save some of my hand cannon bullets. Well, normal attack you. I can try to unlock this other ability. Then I think I'm gonna Kirk plus plus them. I'm hoping it just barely damages Orc Lord and kills him. It's my hope and dream here. Okay, didn't kill Orc Lord, but we did get a kill off of it. I think that's okay. Nice. It's using High Break to us, which did very little damage. Which is kind of funny, because again, I think Cowboy is still using basic armor. Maybe we'll leave him at basic armor for the rest of the game. We'll see. So far, it hasn't been relevant. It's getting slightly more relevant as time goes on. But definitely don't think it was worth upgrading before this point. So we have enough to... Oh. What? <laughs> I am... I am dog. Hear me roar. Well, I, I guess we're in a fight. <laughs> With... Was that supposed to be scary, or because, I mean, for me, it just became across as funny. <laughs> it's like, suddenly, suddenly dog machine. Protect allies from harm. I don't think I care about that. Tell them they're on their own. Uh, I'll do one normal bullet. And I think we'll do... Trickster. Not that I expected to do anything. And then we're going to try to defense down them.
Has nothing as usual. Thank you. 617's okay. So we have potentially eight rocket launcher shots. Okay, lower defense. Ooh, 1,200. That's actually a significant amount of damage. Uh, I don't think I risk a rocket launcher shot yet. Let's go through here. Use heal blade on her to cap off her health. And then I'm going to use fringing on cowboy. Hopefully that's good enough. And then I'm going to use the card on another character at random. So it healed slightly more than the healing item does, which is good. 278 is not a lot of damage. So let's now take this opportunity to use arm lock with rocket launcher. We're going to use... I guess could just use another meteor dive. I'm going to use her turn to use lucky card. So now Cowboy should be set up for at least three rocket shots. Wow, almost 3,000 damage. Okay, that was worth it, Chad. His upgrade was absolutely worth it. He's doing almost triple the damage of the other character. So we're absolutely going to do that again. Uh, I'm going to Meteor Dive, and then I'm going to... I guess I could see if anything does damage to them. Let's try Chaos Mania. Then I could try Amp, maybe, because it's a machine. If that doesn't work. Three sixty-seven, not a great amount of damage. It it helps, but ooh, that's a thousand. So she's still taking insane damage from that. We're gonna use this opportunity to shoot one more time. Thing looks like Yu-Gi-Oh monster a little bit. Uh, I'm going to ex. Nah, I'm gonna avoid accelerating. I'm gonna use his ability to heal her, and then I think I want her to try amp on the thing. I just want to make sure she gets healed before the enemy goes. So I imagine one more rocket shot is probably going to kill. Let's see if this does good damage. Oh, it does. Okay, so we're going to use Amp again. My defense is lowered, so I could get one shot here and die. So we're going to go aggressive here to hopefully kill it. Let's use Sonic Vision and then use her ability to Amp. Hopefully this will kill. Nice, big damage. Because I think we were playing fairly aggressive the whole time. Didn't quite kill, maybe this will. So it it's taking over 5,000 damage this turn. Oh, it, it wide opened again. So I get another turn of damage. So again, trying to be as aggressive as possible here. Lock on is good. Let's use another meteor dive. She can almost use other abilities, but she hasn't learned them yet. Uh, use the amp again. Oh, I could have tried using Mystic on a card to see what it does. Maybe next time I'll try doing that chat to see if that gives more XP or not. It's possible that might pump it to like a triple XP. I didn't think about it until just now. I'm happy I'm using the cards, don't get me wrong. But this should help catch up. Hopefully this monster gives us money. 4,000 experience, cowboy leveled. Okay, 7,000 cash. Not as high as some of the other bosses, but I'll take it. <laughs> I like how random that encounter was. <laughs> just, there's there's no plot explanation. Nothing happens afterwards. Just like, oh yeah, by the way, this is just a tank dog thing. Hmm. So anyway, um, how close am I to leveling? I should probably do one more fight because I'm only 370 from leveling. 
So we'll try going back into that other room in a moment, but I do want one more fight. I think it is worth it given how much damage they were doing. Getting another 60 HP. XP, Hunter leveled. Hmm. Let's see. What am I leveling with this character? Not even remotely close, so it's not worth the leveling. Pick a talisman to recover HP by walking around, which isn't bad. So now he's at 1700 health, that might matter. So again, I think what I'll try to do, if we get a chance, I'll try to Mystic the card to see if it does anything. Or if it's even a loud fusion combo. Oh. So... I didn't see Mr. Maxwell, he said he's in the other room. Yeah, we dealt with Tank Dog. There's the save point here. Interesting. I was gonna say, at some point I'm waiting for the villagers to turn into demons, because I'm assuming that's what he did in the other place. If it's the same strategy. So at least one person is being controlled. So they weren't like demons initially. And he's like, oh, I planted the seeds of chaos. It is mine. And now he's enslaved to me, blah, blah, blah. When did the monsters get through? When we first went in, there was nothing there. Then all of a sudden, the monsters appeared. There's also less villagers in here, if you notice. Where are my travelers? I heard the town of St. Centaur was invaded by monsters. Yep, there we go. He was saying something about the dimensions. Signing in this room, when I saw a monster change into a human and put on clothes, I swear. Yeah, there we go. Oops. So where did they want us to go? This court seemed going to be all right. I was told this is a safe place. We lost a few people during the chaos of the evacuation. Please don't make me fight this battle. Please don't make me fight this battle. Please let me escape this battle. Wow. Chad, I think that is 14? No, no, 14. It was at least eight. That was at least eight failed escapes in a row. Like, that is horrific. So unfortunate. I think I'm just gonna have to Kirk him. So I don't know what room they're talking about when they say the other room, quote unquote. But I guess we'll find out eventually. Hmm, I think I try to learn a new technique while I'm here. Sucks. Everybody's asleep. A am I gonna wake up from this, or is this just the game over? Or I guess if they just repeatedly heal each other, I have a chance. 
This feels like a pretty unfair fight. I think we could all agree. Does magic really not wake me up from this? Why? Why, why is sleep so powerful in this game? Oh, thank you for gracing me with the turn. I appreciate it, game. Yeah, this is stupid. You way overtuned status elements in this game. So this is even, so this is basically, there's no difference between this and paralysis is what I'm learning. Just insanely unfair. Just out of the encounter for free. So I guess if I wanted to use the sleep spell, I know it's strong enough to literally end an entire fight and nothing seems to wake them up. I barely got the ability to do anything here. I like that I started this battle at full health, I'm pretty sure by the way, and I got reduced to 400. This fight was absolutely not worth it. Okay. Now I just don't know where the game wants me to go. I'm just trying to find out where it wants me to walk. Yeah, there's the little door over there. We'll try in a moment. We went through here. So scared. I thought I told there were monsters here. When are we going to be able to get out of here? Hmm. Uh... Right, chat? Like, I'm assuming I'm looking for somebody. <sighs> I'm gonna try one more time, and if this fails, I am never running away for the rest of the game. Okay. There, I threatened it, chat. I threatened it. I was like, that that was the first one in like 10-ish attempts. That is such a bad ratio. So we went through here. Is there anything to do in here? We fought the dog. Then there's the guy up here. He said he's, quote, in the other room. can't interact with him with the mouse. I don't know what the game wants me to do. Like, clearly, something bad will happen in the room that is closed. But how do I advance the plot? I don't know. Hmm... I'm assuming there's some puzzle I have to solve. I'm just not seeing it somewhere in this big place. Just genuinely unsure what it wants me to do. I don't know, question one. <laughs> Wild Arms, you gotta give me a hint here. I, I genuinely don't know what you want me to do. I, I killed a boss. The plot is not progressing. What do I need to do? Okay, we killed this enemy who's definitely a problem. Although I just realized the mechanic thing is gonna resist the damage. Oh, that still did 1,100. Well, that was crazy. Nice counterattack. Should put him in auto attack range for everybody now. Hmm. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, nothing to do in here. Do you want me to go back to the entrance for some reason?
Okay, Chad. I, I officially have no idea what to do. I have to get into that other room somehow. Nobody has talked about what I need to do. I guess I could go left here in case I didn't go in here. No, we did before. I'm afraid of rats more than I am of monsters. A man that was just here, one moment he was there, and the next thing I know, there's a monster attacking us. He must have been eaten. Like, do I just have to be a dick to this guy for no reason to advance the plot? Like, I literally have no idea what else to do. Like, do I just use the mouth on him for some reason? Hey, rats, did you know that? Like, did, does that do anything for us? No? Can't believe we got invaded. Monsters didn't look like they forced their way through. Must have figured out a way to get through the barrier. Wait, I, ser I seriously had to do that to advance the plot. Wild Arms. Wild Arms, please. <laughs> that should not be the way to progress the plot. Why was that a thing? I don't care if it was like a cute interaction to see him like, why did you use a mouse? But the fact that that was mandatory, that is actual insanity. Ooh. That reminds me. Something like this happened before. I'm going to say the town of St. Centaur. That's right, I remember. I got past the barrier by... Uh, huddling against your body. That means... Go through with the human. He used the same method I, as I did to get through the defenses. I'm gonna say got in with the humans. We just saw a dog turn into a monster. I don't want to think that... Villager sided with monster. I can say villager became a monster. How could a human turn into a monster? Smart kids. I'll tell you exactly how we did it. I know, chat. That was some... That, that was some, like, King's Quest logic levels of, wow, I can't believe that advanced the plot. That was pretty bad. We use special seeds. These seeds were developed with magic. I mean, I was... I guess seeds. I said seeds of chaos. I, <laughs> close enough, chat. Close enough. These seeds don't register to the barrier, thus they're able to pass through. After they're eaten, the seed will grow inside the body and take it over at our command. How perfect can this get? We turn the entire town into a giant laboratory. Maybe with different materials, but we demons have the same body construction as humans. Man is indeed the real monster. If you guys are living flesh, then we are living metal. No one can stop us. Well, enough talk. I'll have to ask for the rune drive now. I have my orders. Okay. Well, I'll do some basic healing just in case we immediately get in a boss battle. To say that I tried to put myself at full HP before a boss battle. Yeah, that was that was real bad. Holy. I was complaining about the time waster dungeon. How about, how about that time waster to advance the plot? Ridiculous. Okay, if I go diagonal, I can kind of ignore most of the things here. And then he turned into a monster. I mean, I wanted to kill him already, so this works out for me. I don't know how he split into three people. I think that's more impressive. Force level up! Oh, poison is kind of annoying, actually. Uh, should have gone a little faster here. Just trying to learn a new technique while we're waiting. Maybe it'll be useful. Rock Gazer, there we go. Bonk, 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 bonk. This should be enough to kill. So one more attempt at learning a technique to say that I tried. Oh, there we go. Blast charge has been mastered. Did a thousand damage. 
I don't know if it's stronger than the other ability we have because the other one wasn't. Localized blast area. So meteor dive is still very cheap comparatively, which is somewhat useful if you're looking to conserve MP. So I don't have regrets so far. Um, I'm kind of curious if I can make Meteor Dive 0 MP, but I want to save the game before I do that. So how are we doing in terms of XP? She's semi-close to leveling because she's so far behind. Everybody else is doing okay. Anything I want to change up with her? She's got the best possible gear on. I don't think I can improve that. I could get rid of his other abilities just to give him health up. We do have headgear on him, which is pretty good. I think that's kind of carrying his defense right now. Everything else is just kind of mediocre. Yeah, I think having 96 response is good, so I don't think I want to touch that. Okay. You guys work too hard. You just ignored me. You could have gone about your business. I hate you miserable maggots who live by these pitiful beliefs. Your time has come to die! Prepare yourselves! Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. Apparently, he brought his robot squad out. Uh, I guess since my first turn doesn't matter, I could just start by using a lucky card. Or do I wait and use it? You know what? I'll wait and use it. Let's just get our guaranteed card here. Because I'm not even sure if this is going to be a real boss battle or not. Let's compare the damage. We're going to do Trickster first. And then we're going to do Multi Slash followed by Dive and see if we could get better stats here. So we're going to double the XP, hopefully. I doubt the game will give me money, but we'll see. 557 is not that much damage. Will we get an item? Has nothing, of course. <laughs> right, chat? Of course. Not a single boss in this game has had a stealable item. It is so sad, Chad. Maybe one day it'll be useful. Um, I could use a normal item here. I think I will. Actually, next turn. Let's use a regular bullet. None of three bullets there. Let's try Slash Rave. And then try to do... Maybe Amp, because he said he's a machine. Maybe he's weak to lightning. Take that, Living Metal. 1,000 damage, not bad. Es Esperanza? <laughs> I did really do that much damage. 541, kind of pathetic. So now I'm going to switch over. We're going to lock on with the rocket launcher. I'm going to do meteor dive. And if that does more damage than the other one, I am never using that other technique again. Because it, it has an opportunity to do damage, and it does not. Uh, let's compare it to, like, the Rob damage. It's really not doing that much damage to me. So this is good. Rocket launcher time. 3,000 damage, that's huge. That did... That did more than the other one again! Okay, I'm never using that other ability ever again. Maybe I'll humor it at the end of the game. It... That is just so irritating. <laughs> Meteor Dive... Th almost... Th no, four times cheaper. It did more than double the damage. I don't know if the other one is supposed to do something, but it clearly is not, and I'm giving up on it. I've had enough, chat. I'm just going to rotate through spells. I don't think it really matters here. Big damage. I could Mystic. See what happens. But is he dead already? Not bad. Not bad at all. We could use you. We will forget about the rune drive for now. Come to our photosphere. We'll give you a welcome you'll never forget. 6,000 experience received. Wow, that was... Bad XP. That XP was... Just terrible. 
So he would have only given 3,000 experience normally? That's really lame. That was actually not worth using. At this point, I'm contemplating if I should hold on to a few for much later in the game. Because that's now two different bosses where we beat them, and the XP has been very mediocre at best. So maybe I'll hold on to at least one card for the future. When we fight those random enemies in the overworld and get so much more. We're successful in defense of the Rune Drive. They wanted the Rune Drive, an ancient power amplifier. A very powerful device. We can use this device to strengthen the golem you're using. There's no time for you to do the work alone. Let's see if I could give you a hand. Waiting for him to monster out. Rune Drive acquired. Let's power up this golem of yours. Is, oh, now, oh, never mind. Now I see the person that restores bullets. I didn't see them the first time, or the second time we went into town. Yeah, let's recover our bullets here for sure. Thank you. So yeah, rocket launcher so far seems worth investing a lot of money into. Handgun I don't regret because we have some downtime between rocket launcher. So right now it is our in between, we'll eventually phase out hand cannon, and Prism Ray's only purpose is to just AoE kill easy squads of enemies, which so far it's still doing its job. I'm not sure I got my money's worth yet. Hand cannon we definitely have. Let's go down the stairs. Rune Drive upgrade. Oh, the Rune Drives upgrade the shield mechanism, the Earth Golem. The Golem was called the Fort of the Gods. Built a mach machine created to counter the demon race. Maybe mankind's last fortification. I'm an armsmeister. I've learned everything I know from Mole Man's effort. Oh. Fade to black. Two rune drives will restore the weakened power output of the Earth Golem. The anti phasing shield is at full power. Will this segregate anything it touches? If you think about it, it's the ultimate offensive weapon as well. Almost thought it was a flashback due to the lighting, because it went kind of sepia-toned. It took me a moment to realize it was the same characters. I don't believe people should possess powers beyond their control. History of our people is a fight for power. With power, there is a chance for meaningless destruction. The old man Zephyr used to say, The saga can be reversed if the power is used to protect the precious. There is a definite difference between the power to acquire and the power to protect. I will revive the power of the Earth Golem for the righteous fight a protecting Phil Gaia. And the golem says no and leaves. <laughs> right, Chan? We didn't ask the golem if it wanted to be upgraded. Hmm. There's said to be a ruin in the snow-covered northern mountains where a light of illusion guards against intruders. Some say the demons live there, but it's not certain. The earth golem should now be able to break through that light illusion. It's probably the demon's barrier. It's a world where innocent children and kind people are the first to die worth protecting. Wow. Well, actually, let me see if I can upgrade the rocket launcher again. Honestly, it is really strong. So, so far I have, like, enough bullets with it that I'm not too worried. Oh, I hit max damage. Okay. That simplifies things. Do I want to upgrade hand cannon at all? That's kind of expensive. Can I do some throw away accuracy in case I want to use it normally? I don't mind some throwaway accuracy. Just in case there's a boss that happens to be multi-part. I might as well as improve it. Okay, 85% is probably good enough for me to use it normally. Uh, We'll pay for one more bullet. And then for now, this should be good enough. So if I need to use it normally, it's at least pretty strong. If I want to risk doing it rather than hand cannon. And if nothing else, it makes Bullet Clip stronger. I'll save the rest of the money for weapon upgrades, because we haven't really had a place to upgrade our stuff yet. Mm, let's not do that, actually. I'll double check to make sure I didn't miss, like, a merchant or something. Also, it's kind of a ripoff. The guy increases your bullet slot, but doesn't, like, refill your bullets. What a jerk. He should have at least given you a bullet when he adds another bullet slot. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, so these are all rings I don't care about. Uh, I probably just want to get 10 of everything, just in case. Hopefully this will last us the rest of the game. So even if I get the ability to cure statuses, it's possible the character that could cure it will end up unable to use the items. So that's just long-term security. Hopefully I do not need those items, but if they do end up becoming required, at least I have like 20 of them. Because we, we ended up using, I think, seven or eight Cure Confuses just in that last dungeon. Just for clarity. Like, we did go through, like, a rather large amount. We have 18 different spells that we can make. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So right now I can literally make every single spell if I want to, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to name all 18. We could maybe do that later if we don't get any upgrades. I'd rather save that for advanced spells. So we have like advanced fire, holy, dark, wind, cure, status cure, maybe escape encounters. I'd rather just get that all done there. But eventually we'll go back and name those. Plus the enemy is not very likely to use them. Also, where did he put the golem? Oh. He left it over here, never mind. So yeah, I think we'll at least do this dungeon and then we'll take a break afterwards. So that'll be our goal for the day. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Okay, let's go to the photosphere. You sure the Earth Golem can handle this dreaded thing? Watch out for the shield boundaries. If any part of your body touches the shield, you'll lose it. Okay, okay, we get the message. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Okay, Princess, do your thing. Tell this guy to neutralize the defenses. They are not tools, Hunter. Please, Earth Golem, would you help us? Watch him fun into it? Yeah, pretty much. This is seeming really easy to get to the end of the game. I'm assuming the game is not over. This is fantastic. This is powerful, all right? And they say the anti-phasing shield is a defensive weapon. Let's get inside this thing. The enemy won't stay quiet much longer. I mean, if this is somehow the end of the game, it would I would find it very funny. Hmm... If I step on that, I get zapped for not very much damage. Question, can I do this? No, so I can't skate through it. I needed to know that. Hmm. So what do I do? Maybe I try bombing the blinky machines. Mech, Skeeto, and Nightmare. Oh, that is a pun. Gravity gas? Response rate lowered by 100%. Okay. Please kill Mech, Skeeto. Nice. Goodbye, Mech, Skeeto. You were eliminated. Chat like how fast that menu that. <laughs> All gone. Alright, so I'm still gonna skate around to avoid encounters. So at least the game gave me some remedy for the somewhat atrocious encounter raid. I'll work with that for now. Nice, girl leveled. How close is everybody else to leveling? Okay, they're like sort of close. So I imagine the minimum number of encounters, we'll probably level them. Okay, so that is how that works. So I can go back to the other side then. So it's worth bonking because it's it takes less time to bonk than it does to get into an encounter.
that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do this. Oh, I can't skid downstairs. Unfortunate. That's fine. That's one way to stop the skate. There's kind of an upper platform. There's also kind of a crate over here. Motion barrier acquired. Oh, that's what treasure chests look like in this area. Good to know. Zapped. What's my HP doing? Oh, pretty good. Hmm. There's platforms where I might be able to shoot Hanpon out or Grappling Hook, but I'm not seeing a reason to do so yet. Hello, Jack Lanton. I'm assuming it's a pumpkin that's on fire. I'm assuming that's what that faint graphic is. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some AoE attacks here to end the fight. Thank you, Prism Ray. Spontaneous combustion, that's not good. Oh, it's not like Bomb from Final Fantasy, so it didn't one-shot me or whatever. That worked out. Hmm. Oh, I can just straight up drop down here. Oh, okay, that works then. So I gotta go through that again. There's also a little path over here. What's over here? Bonk. Another door. Oh. Oh, this is... The, the, I was thinking it was a simple treasure room, but no, 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 no. We're, we're gonna keep bonking, chat. Believe in the bonk. Oh, you can skate. I was just unlucky. Got it. Um... I think I gotta go left there. So there's two paths I could take. Hmm. Which one will lead to items? Vampires and wizards. Neither of them look like their designated namesake. I'm just gonna go out on a limb chat and say, I don't think so. I don't, I just, I don't believe. We'll do this ability. I'm gonna Kirk plus plus the group just to end the fight a little faster, maybe. Prism Ray doing its job again. Thank you, Prism Ray. So still useful for like four dungeons. That's not too bad. It lasted more than one session, so it's somewhat useful. And that hit everybody and did splash damage. Okay. So I target a main one and it hits the person next to them. That's somewhat useful. Because that might save me some damage here. Time to get Kirked. Although it is a wizard, I'm not sure how much damage it'll take from getting Kirked. Not that much, but it should die from this. Oh, now I see its little cape. Looks like it has a Santa hat. <laughs> What's going on with the wizard there? Cowboy leveled. Nice. I guess Santa is a wizard. How else does he fit down the chimneys? Should have seen it coming, chat. So there's another door, but do I go to the one that's further back or not? That's the question I'm asking myself here. Hmm... I mean, I guess I'll check both before we go further. There's an item here. Already apple acquired. That's just gonna go on our healer. So that way she can just tank blows for days. Okay, what's through here? Was oh, this just another way to get into this room? Maybe it's another way to get into the room. Okay. Try using Boldy on the wizard. If I had AoE ice, I would try it on the combustion things. But this will suffice. Come on, Boldy. Okay, that did okay damage. So a couple strikes here should kill. Nice. Goodbye. 740 damage. That's crazy damage. Welcome, Dango. We find out what today's plot is? Kind of. We are now in the photosphere. 
So I could potentially go around the lights there. This is the Reaper's Oops. power. We will bonk everything to avoid encounters. I do not care how long this takes. There's a door. Another door here. Thanks, game. That was very rude. Appreciate it. There's a chest here. Agile apple acquired. Um, hmm. Do I put it on him? He put it on him. I do need to make sure he still goes second. Um. The teardrop is this way, says Blue Rope Figure. What's the matter? Don't you want it? So you expect us to follow you? Yeah, right. First of all, who the hell are you? What do you want? You're afraid, aren't you? Me? Afraid? The one who does not have courage to look at the truth is called a coward. A coward is afraid. All right, then. I'll follow you. This photosphere is being prepped for travel. Hurry and follow me. Okay, well, that was random. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go this way. <laughs> Listen, chat. I'm going to bonk repeatedly to avoid doing anything here. Let's go back to that other set of doors. It was over here. Go up here. Get bonked. Sadly, can't skate off the edge. That would have been kind of nice. Yeah, I don't think we could quite follow him through the ground either. Hmm. Here's another ability here. Uh, I guess if she gets a turn, I'll just heal somebody randomly. I like how he just doesn't bother in to introduce his name. He's just gone. Anyway, this is all cash going towards another arm upgrade because we have rocket launcher. The power of Rocket Launcher means we're not very scared of much. Oh, so there are chests here. Potion Berry acquired. Another Potion Berry acquired. Full Revive required. Okay, so we got quite a bit acquired. We'll heal right that. <laughs> Our party's gonna arrive with terrible, horrible brain damage and concussions. That's probably true. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to reduce the encounter rate. So I could go that way and end up on those stairs. Is there a reason to go left? Let's check left and then I'll go back up here. I think I just want to nuke them. So me having 12 bullets on Prism Ray has actually been extremely helpful. So I now feel very happy that we've leveled it. I didn't have an initial use for it, but once he started getting faster response time, then it started becoming useful. So it was one of those weapons where it was not good until I got higher response time. And then once we got it, it was pretty good. So, so far, we've probably used 25-ish attacks, if I had to guess, of it. Not quite as much as handgun, but it is speeding up encounters significantly here. Did not want to go in there. Is there a reason to go this way? No, there's not. Okay. I'm just going to bonk. There we go. We're doing the skates to avoid encounters. Because it looks like I am getting way less encounters. Unless I go too far like that. So there is that little chest there. So all that was just for one chest. Kind of unfortunate. Okay, so I can't go diagonal on the stairs. Which is fair. Oh, I thought he was going off the platform. That's unfortunate. I was holding down and then hit right, but it had a bit of a delay. I keep forgetting in this game, you have to kind of hold it for like almost a second and then it'll register as opposed to just touching the edge, which is weird because if you walk off a place that doesn't have railings, you fall instantly. But when there's a place you have to jump, it gives you a delay before you fall off. I think that's a bit weird, but whatever. Thank you, Prism Ray, making this encounter faster because I'm not going to bother running for much. Could technically benefit from the XP and money. In theory. Hunter level. Okay, so I think we've gotten everything we can. We're gonna go back through the center. We're gonna get the chest that's there. And then I guess we're gonna go fight Mother. But I'm... 
Kind of surprised we're here already, unless there's another person behind Mother or something. Or Mother just defeats us soundly or something. I did not expect to get to the main base this quickly. Of the enemy hideouts. Ambushed. We still technically have to deal with at least three of the other generals who we haven't fought yet. So I don't know if we're going to fight them first, or as I said before, if it's one of those ones where it's like, she's all powerful and nothing you do matters and she nukes the world. Which, to be fair, she should probably nuke a couple places that are here. They know what they did. Thank you, Prism Ray, saving myself some time again. So yeah, I might upgrade Prism's Ray damage one more time. Maybe. But I have a feeling if I get another AoE one, I'll never use Prism Ray again. So it's kind of... How long do I think I have to wait for that to happen? Kind of deals. Let's give our healer more defense. Mongo Diagonal. Thank you. Now we'll go through the door. Oh, that was unfortunate. Skated right past the items. Can I do this to get to the item? Sort of. Potion berry. Oh, just potion berries. Nothing of interest there. Bonk. Bonk. I'll tell you the truth. We share a common goal. No intention of fighting you people. I need your assistance. You must destroy Mother before the photosphere burns away all of Filgaia. Thanks, random shadow guy. Bye, random shadow guy. Twin orbs arm acquired. And that is what exactly? I'm gonna have to check that. Auto attack orbs single. Damage isn't great. But I'm not sure how that works. Is it just like... If I activate it once, it keeps attacking till it runs out of bullets? As if so, that's fine. Do I leave an upgrade? Maybe I just leave an upgrade. Yeah, let's let's go leave an upgrade, because it was pretty easy to get to this point in the dungeon. I mean, it was like, what, three rooms to get back to where we were? Like, that's not that bad. We we don't have to go through the side rooms anymore. Clunka clunka chat. So if we upgrade it a little bit, it could be like another boss killer. Because I'm assuming this is supposed to be what replaces the hand cannon. There we go. Just riding our golem casually to the middle of an orphanage. As you do, to upgrade your guns. Because that's where you go to get all of your guns upgraded. Oops. I surprisingly did not bonk on that door. Yeah, yeah, you're stuttering the inner workings, blah, blah, blah. So give me the upgrade. How much do you get per upgrade here? Five attack? That's not a lot. Hmm. We'll still pump it up a little bit so it does as much as... Prism Ray. See how much a single upgrade of accuracy gives? Just 2%, not that much. We get another bullet here if I want to. Upgrade Prism Ray one last time. I'm assuming. Oh, it can go up again, but I'm, I don't think I need it to be that much stronger. It's already pretty good. Let's do one more attack here. This prison ray damage is okay. Probably want another bullet for rocket launcher, but I can't afford it. Okay. Let's go heal. We have another gun. Prism ray now has slightly better damage, and it's already good enough that it is one-shotting. So this just helps keep it relevant maybe for the rest of the dungeon, which I'm okay with. Pay for the stuff. And now the other gun might be worth trying out, although it's still not very accurate. So again, for extended dungeons, which I'm assuming are going to happen at some point where I can't just instantly get out of them necessarily, without losing like a lot of time, this could be nice. We have bullet clips to help us in case we have repeated boss battles back to back. 
So I'm going to save those for when we're really deep in a dungeon. But already feeling like our damage is fine. Rip our money though. So any money we get from here until the end will be just going towards new weapons for the other characters. So presumably we will get an, a chance to upgrade weapon armor in the future. We'll start with a uh, hunter's sword. I don't even technically need to upgrade the weapons of uh, the girl at all because it doesn't impact sorcery. It doesn't seem like it does anyway. So we'll hold off on any buffs there. And her damage is decent. Let's get a little money back. Should just be a GG here. Let's see if upgraded Prism Ray one-shots. Ooh, not quite, but it did do a lot more damage. Close. So if we had arguably upgraded it again, it would have been able to one-shot, because they only have so much... Yeah, they have less than 100 health left. I'm kind of curious what Twin Orbs does, so I'm going to try to shoot with it, but I doubt it'll go first. Whoa! Wait a minute, chat. That damage was way higher than what was listed. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, chat. That damage was uh, a little bonkers. It has lower attack rating than Rocket Launcher, but that was like Rocket Launch Launcher level of damage. Uh, so we have a definite boss kill. The downside is it's only 77% accurate. Yeah. So we still have to think about it a little. It's not like an auto use on bosses. So if I want to play it safe, Handgun is still our best option. But yeah, that did insane damage. That's what I was hoping the other guy's ability would be. Uh, let's go up the stairs here. Look at all these encounters that we're not having. Well, we're, we're climbing the stairs, chat. Oh, there's a chest. Something broke up the monotony. Magic carrot acquired. So we went up that entire flight of stairs without a single encounter, which is nice. Little music shift. Oh, he still has parry down from the other thing? I mean, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Do I even have anything that cures it? Maybe this. Guess I'll use it just because. So we're basically max MP, basically max HP. Nice. I'm short on words. Mother's heirloom. Warm light. I'm so relieved. Tool teardrop acquired. Blue Red Figure says, The Photosphere and Mother derive their powers from their teardrop. Now the power is down. You can attack the Mother. This is your one and only chance, humans. This is as far as I go. You do not destroy Mother now. Your world will suffer the same fate as mine. Okay. Hmm. Mother destroyed his planet. I couldn't care less. I've been dancing in that guy's court all this time. Might as well as dance to the last song. Let's go for it. So, where do you want me to go? Because I don't want to go all the way down here and just realize I don't have to do anything. I think it might be faster to warp out of here. And then just go forward. Try this again. Is there something over here we couldn't do before? I don't remember. Empty. Oh, our first encounter in a while. 
Well, I'm definitely gonna keep Prism Ring. I don't have to Sonic Buster this, sadly, though. Hmm. <laughs> I could use a Rocket Launcher Shot if I really wanted to. Let's kill these, and then maybe... Do a random spell. So his Sonic Buster is strictly worse than Prism Ray. So at least it shows that Prism Ray is scaled pretty well if it's still outdoing that other skill. Let's see how much Chaos Vania does here. Goodbye, Cat Wizard. So yeah, the rest of the money will just go towards potentially that new sword upgrade for a character. Hopefully the boss gives us some money. Ooh, I don't remember going through here before. So I'm guessing the security is now down. I guess I kind of remember going in a room and bonking earlier. So this tells me we're finally at the boss fight. One of many, presumably. So we'll see how far this goes. I have a hard stop in about 40 minutes. Did you put stealth mechanics in this game? Did you do this? If I step in this, do I go back? Oh, it just forces an encounter. That's fine. I do not really want to play the stealth mini game. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it teleported us back to the beginning of the dungeon, which we've seen before in other things... Yeah, man. Oh, man, if Prism Ray was just slightly stronger, it actually would have been saving us so much more time. Some regretted not upgrading it earlier. Oh, it does! It just makes us have a fight first. Oh, screw you, Wild Arms. Oh, I hate stealth minigames. Ugh, that's even worse than just getting caught and going back to the beginning. Okay, so I can't go through there at all. Oops. Nope. That is, that is really, can I even make that? That seems really difficult. That seemed... Yeah, that, that seemed kind of di difficult in terms of timing. I don't like that. Yeah, if there's items here, I might just have to hard pass on them, Chad. I don't think I want to go back for them. Oh my gosh, where is the exit? Please let this be the exit. Okay, if there's items in here, I miss them. I'm not going back, Chad. I'm not going back. I'm just like, sorry, if that was some kind of big upgrade, it's not happening. Holy... Hey, long time no see. The golem is attacking us, I thought. Maybe I forgot. It has been a thousand years. So sorry, whatever accessory is in there. I have no interest in going through that maze again. Hmm... So let's see, we're finding Lalitha from the beginning of the game. Let us take this opportunity to use a card. I'm assuming this will give okay XP. We're gonna use Trickster, though I expect nothing. We're going to wide open the boss. Hmm. If we somehow die in game over, I'll go check for the other items. Couldn't steal, so it, it does have something. Fire effect is halved? Okay. I don't know if I really care about that yet. Maybe its weakness is fire? So let's try Twin Orb. We'll go for another Trickster. I'm gonna... Try... Or I could try Cry... Uh, I don't know. Let's try fire on it. It is red, and it could just be lowering our effectiveness towards it. We'll see. 762, that's okay. Please give an item. Nope. Ooh, 
it puts everybody to sleep? Oh, that's horrendous. Okay, 988 was pretty good damage. Uh, This is really bad. That is a bad status ailment. Please don't hit her. Ooh. Well, good thing we have potion berries, or else that would have been a game over. For those that haven't seen this before, this is pretty much... I'm going to use this again, because I'm going to take massive damage. Let's get this out of the way. I don't have any other AoE heal, sadly, and 200 HP at this point is not worth it. Wow, this is so unfair. Hunter finally got a turn. Let's use him to heal himself. Use the girl's turn to heal herself with fringing. Okay, put her out of kill range at least. Hellboy should be able to use lock on with rocket launcher. Let's use Meteor Dive and have her Mystic the group. Hopefully this is fast enough. Yeah, we need to start doing some damage here. 3,000's a lot. Oh, I still think... I think I need to Trickster still. Let me Trickster again after this. So I'm making sure our HP is basically full at all times because we're taking way too much AoE. Now it only does a single attack, which is what we needed earlier. So let's go ahead and lock on again. I'm going to try to trickster again. And I'm just going to do fire since I seem to do decent damage. A thousand damage is pretty good. The rocket launcher is so strong. <laughs> Doing 3000. Come on, give an item. Still couldn't steal. So chat's all. I'm trying desperately to finally get an item from a boss. Absolute zero. Okay, I'm gonna use lock on again. I'm gonna use him to trickster this. I'm gonna use her healing to fringe on Hunter to survive, maybe? So at least we're getting the big damage. If it triple sleeps me, it's game over. Come on, give me the item. Mega Berry acquired. That was not really worth it. A okay, Hunter can survive a few hits now. We have so many... We have so many points of force. I think I could just spam this. Let's go ahead and use Sonic Vision for big damage. I'm gonna use Fringing, I think, just in case this doesn't kill. Use it on Cowboy here. Big damage. Oh, it killed. So it didn't have a lot of health, but it could have stunlocked me for years. More XP. Girl gained a level. 1100 cash. That's good. That'll be for our future weapons. Can't believe the golems are on their side. Weapons only act as according to what the user wants. That golem probably got reprogrammed. We are different. We can't be reprogrammed. Uh, we'll see about that. But anyway, let's, uh, fringe. Does that mean we still have to... Nothing gets rid of this, really? Yeah, whatever items are in here, chat, I do not have the patience to do a stealth minigame. I really, really don't want to stop and go for, like, five minutes just to go back and forth. So if this place inevitably goes through massive self-destruct, whatever. It's gone forever. I don't want it. Not worth my time. <laughs> the, the kind of stuff drives me wild. Uh, let's see. I definitely don't want to leave. How are we doing in terms of bullets? Do we still have six out of nine bullets on the rocket launcher? Twin orbs is pretty good. Prism ray is ammo. Still have 62 MP on this character. I think we're good. Hopefully this boss is not horrendous. we doing in terms of XP? 
Not that close to leveling. I don't think I'm gonna double the XP given I'm not leveling. I'm not close to leveling. I'm gonna hold on to it for later. There's strange cold vibrations coming from ahead. Dive in anyway. Hmm, can I bomb these at all? No. Well, I guess we go forward. A, a strong jolt. The photosphere must be on the move. Hello, Mother. I am Mother, Queen of the Demon Race. I have brought countless star systems to an end, each full of life. I am the messenger of death. Beings of life, do you come to me for judgment? Do you seek the glory of being devoured by a being of such eminence? Oh, she didn't even wait for her answer. So this will be our last boss, I think, either way for the night. Or day, I guess, technically. Let's go ahead and try Twin Orbs. I got nothing better to do. We'll see if she has anything to steal and make sure he's wide open. Pulse Magna, she says. It muted and confused her. What an awful combo. 427 is not a lot of damage. I'm assuming it just kind of whiffed on the bullets. Has nothing. Wow. This her whole turn got deleted. That's super annoying. Let's get rid of silence, right, on you. Get rid of confuse, so that way you don't do anything too stupid. Oh, oops. I didn't realize I got another thing there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not confused. I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe that's forgetfulness. I don't think we've seen that status ailment yet. I should probably cure it. So let's go ahead and just do a normal bullet here, I think. Let's... Cure your forgetfulness. And then still go for the wide open. Oh, it did about the same damage. Okay. So we cured that. Try to lower defense. So that way I can start, start rocket launching. Ooh, resisted. Um, I'm gonna use another twin orb here into... I could slash rave just to see. I'll try wide open again. I'll heal with her next turn. If she gets it again. 1,354, okay. 422, yeah, we're never using it again. Banned, terrible. There we go, defense finally lowered. Narragate Harlo? Okay, that did some big damage, but I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and lock on for Rocket Launcher. And I think I'm going to save Meteor until we can Sonic Vision, Meteor Dive. Then I'm going to use her Mystic ability to heal. We went through a lot of her AoE healing, by the way. I really hope the game gives us AoE healing spells like ASAP. Since we used, I think, almost 10 so far this session. So I'm glad we've been picking them up because we have down to 20. We were at like 30 at one point. So this should put everybody high enough that I can focus on damage for the next few turns. So use forgetfulness on us again. I'm not entirely sure what that does. I'm gonna just keep attacking. Uh, I could try to cure it with these characters and just focus on that maybe. do this. So I want him to continue to do damage as the other people support, maybe. Because I don't think it's worth giving up 3,000 damage to cure a status ailment at this point. Rocket launcher, definitely MVP. 
Okay, did some decent damage to us. Let's go for arm lock again. Let's go ahead and use Sonic Vision. And we'll Mystic. I'll cheap out a little. I'll use cheaper healing here. In case the boss is like really close to dead or something. Because we are doing like on average 5,000 a turn due to having the rocket launcher. Just insane damage. Oh, the boss is already dead. Wow. Yeah, chat, I, I think the pure offense strat is paying for itself. What do you think, chat? Aren't you glad I didn't buy armor on the main character when he could just do that much damage and kill the boss? Humans cannot do this. 2,500 experience. I am so glad we didn't double that. And she didn't give money. Oh, we dodged the bullet on that one, chat. That XP was terrible. How terrible. Humans defeating the defeater. No, no, no! Yes, the beauty strikes my thought for the last time. This is the ultimate beauty I can experience. Yes, yeah, she barely gave more than a regular encounter. That XP was pretty bad. This scattering of self. Everything returns to nothing. Light returns to darkness. The photosphere has fallen into the sea. The shock was from the sphere losing control after we let go. No one can stop the sphere from sinking now. We gotta get the hell out of here. Humans, you are part of this journey to the depth of darkness. Enjoy the trip as I'm enjoying the poetry of the ending theme. We are heading straight for the bottom of the inner sea. The photosphere is unstoppable. Oops, she's stretching into oblivion chat. Rip mother. I don't want any part of this. Why are you here? What are you doing here? Captain Bartholomew, McDolan. Hurry or there'll be hell to pay. This thing came down from the skies. There's water seeping in from everywhere. Let's get back to the sweet candy. I don't want to be fish food. Yeah, I was like, no one, no one asked you to be here, Jane. <laughs> right? Oh, well. thought we were goners for sure that time. Why were you here? <laughs> None of you- we're not even near the water. Why were you off the sweet candy? I was the one who suggested we follow that big ball. It's time I start feeling appreciated around here. Oh, okay. You were worried about Cowboy. Oh, yeah. I thought that he might- no, 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 no. Where did you get that idea? Oh, boy. She's soon dare chat. What do they say? A look is worth a thousand words. The boss has been defeated and the princess has what she's looking for. Let's party! Finally, I was able to complete my destiny as a princess. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Thanks, everyone. I have some unfinished business to attend to. Defeating Mother was not my objective. Hunter Van Barice's journey is not over until he overcomes his past affairs. <laughs> You're right. It isn't over. Don't forget about us. You, you must be... Siegfried of the Quarter Knights at your service. Who the hell are you guys? Never gave you permission to come aboard. This is a warning and a declaration. We will take Phil Gaia. We will completely destroy the Guardians and take away your source of power. That will be the end of the human race. We... Everybody loves melding into shadows or teleport jumping. Had enough of those guys. Let's attack them. Don't you agree, Princess? They're determined to rule the world. Let's go back to Aldehyde. We have to plan our next move. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that it was him specifically. I was wondering if it was going to be Zed or something weird. And a few days pass. Aldehyde. Council room. Where we stole all the items. Good. Everyone is here. What do you want? Why have you summoned us like this? We're attacked by some demons today. We have to return the favor. I know... 
From what I've heard, it sounds like the enemy is stepping up their plans. The total and I think they mean annihilation. The total annihilation of all the life on Filgaia, and the complete destruction of the Guardian's powers. We must keep them from gaining the upper hand. That is why I formed EIA, the Emma Intelligence Agency. That sounds extremely self-absorbed, says Jane. <laughs> right, Chad? Girl, cowboy, and hunter will be our main reconnaissance team. The captain will provide transportation within the inner sea. Your job is to gather as much intelligence on the enemy as possible. To win the war, we must win the information battle. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. What are you going to do, Professor Emma, director of the EIA? I will also back you up as an armsmeister. Also, I'd like to study Zephet's journal on the metal bird. Is there something about... Is there something interesting in this book? A thousand years ago, the ability to fly was a reality. There were some interesting theories on the flight in this book. I would like to study it. Can I borrow it? I promise I won't write in it. Hand it over, metal bird. Wow, this is really inspiring. I uh, just want to save the game. I am quite hungry. We got the teardrop back. There's no need for you to travel anymore, princess. I, on the other hand, have some unfinished business to attend to. He loves saying that line. Revenge, is it? He dot dot dots. I can't stop now. Something happened to me during our travels. I don't know exactly what, but I feel like I have to stay with you guys. Cowboy. Please take me with you. <laughs> what if I could say no? I'm kind of tempted. What if I say no? I was preoccupied with trying to get the teardrop in. Now that I have it back, I want to find out what this unresolved feeling is. Please take me with you. No. I oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I just wanted to see chat. Now I must take her with you. Hmm. Thank you, cowboy. You won't regret this. You don't take no for an answer, do you? Well, we fought together and we accomplished a lot. Okay, so now we have to find information, whatever that means. But I think we'll save that for next time. Right now, I just want to go back to the inn, perhaps. Ever since that tragic day, Helda has been a very peaceful place. But somewhere in the world, things are different. Do you have anything to say, Minister Johan? We're able to get the tear drop back from the demons. The demons haven't given up yet. What would King Aldehyde do in this situation? <laughs> well, I'd say die, but you know, it's kind of morbid. Rip the king. Uh, let's see. I guess we could see if any of the equipment is upgraded before I use the inn. We'll talk to the people here in case something new happens. We still haven't unlocked another form of magic, which is disappointing. So I'm imagining we'll get two upgraded white and black magic lifts. Or else I don't understand why it would have us select those. So yeah, none of the equipment upgraded here, which is disappointing. Did you upgrade it all? Probably not. So we have 30 plus of all the cure status ailments, except for the pinwheel. Because we did use quite a few of those. How are we doing in terms of experience? Only cowboy is close to leveling. So I guess he finally pulled ahead of Hunter somehow. Good job, cowboy. You did it. Let's reload our ammo so I don't forget later. Let's use the inn. And we'll talk about how we feel the session went. Perfect. Let's go save. So whatever items are in there, whatever. Gone forever. Don't care. No regrets. So. How do we feel the session went? Well, it took very a very long time. Like at least 15 something hours. Before we got something to potentially reduce encounters. So the skates aren't perfect. The game does punish you for using them. Because there's a lot of things. If you bump into them, they hurt you. Or reset you in the room. But I will take it for now. I'm hoping by the end of the game we get something a little more consistent to just avoid these encounters without necessarily needing to skate. We'll see though, or at least something that auto-escapes. If there's magic that auto-escapes battle, that's also okay. Like, while you're in battle. 
But yeah, I think in general, it does feel like that Lolita battle was kind of overtuned. That was kind of ridiculous that we took like 1300 and we were just lucky we unslept at some point slash woke up. Because sleep is a very, very, very disgusting status ailment in this game. The fact that you don't get woken up when struck physically, at least, is kind of disgusting. So, I don't know. Hopefully there's not more bosses that have the sleep status ailment. Weirdly, Mother was like 30 million times easier, as were some of the other battles compared to the, the Golem fight. Mostly having to deal with uh, handling the status ailments. So far, I feel like... We did an okay mix of upgrades without wasting a lot of extra time grinding. So I like that we did reduce the encounters a bit, so we're more at the pace I'd prefer to play the game, where it's just like back-to-back -back story. And hopefully we will get more upgrades for Girl. Like her damage is okay. Her healing is solid, but she really needs like an AoE heal, or else I am gonna run out of potion berries at some point. Because so far we have not had an ability to restock them. And yeah, there's, I think we could all agree so far of the fast draws. I feel like almost all of the ones we've gotten since Meteor Dive have been terrible, and I basically don't use them. Like, I don't even know if the half HP things works on bosses, but like, does it super matter if it does or not? Like, that boss had less than 12,000 HP. Like, it doing 6,000 would have been nice, maybe? I don't know, but I have a weird, but... But I have a feeling it's like one of those ones where it's not guaranteed. So like, do I really want to do a potentially not guaranteed damage to the boss over Meteor Dive? At the moment, I don't. Because it feels like Rocket Launcher is killing within five bullets every time it's used. So ideally, we'll slowly raise its accuracy so I don't need arm lock on and I can just use it generally. I, I think for the most part, the multi-target replacement of hand cannon is interesting. It does seem to have a pretty big damage range, but it does give me more options in case I run out of bullets on the gun itself, like the hand cannon. So I'll, I'll use it begrudgingly. I think if we could improve its accuracy a little bit, it might prove to be very, very powerful. Since we saw on that one fight, its upper end of damage is insane. Meanwhile, we've seen Hunter basically do literally nothing with his multi-strike. We tried it four different times. It literally did less than a normal attack every single time. So I'm giving up on that ability. I'm pretty much not going to use it for the rest of the game. Unless I feel very, very bored and that I don't think the damage matters. But yeah, I think it is what it is there. So anyway, I, I guess we'll figure out where to go next. Figuring out the plot continues. I definitely think the low point of the game for me was uh, b between the stealth section and really, really, really long rooms of padding. Like, that tri-pillar was really unnecessarily long, with not really a good payoff either. It was just kind of like... It just... It was like rooms for the sake of having rooms. They weren't even like platforming puzzles or like anything that used my unique abilities outside of Grappling Hook. Like, that section of the game did not need to exist. Just straight up, it did not need to exist. I'm not even doing things in like an interesting way where like... I can form a path for somebody else. It was literally just like, pick a path and hope you have the right character so you don't waste your time. Like if this was like a Tails game, I would have had like one team potentially like doing something to hold down a switch so somebody can progress and then I come back. Or it would have been like, if somebody is in a room that I can't reach later, I would have been able to potentially like move platforms and then raise the water or do something else with another character so another character can cross. I just feel like those dungeons were very weak in terms of design and we've seen better on PS1 itself, we've seen better on SNES. Not super thrilled with it. So hopefully they step it up a little bit with the dungeon design because I think the game did start really strong. But again, it's like if you're going to force a lot of really tedious battles with very poor XP to the point where I need to fight 20 to 30 battles just to level once, like that's actually crazy. And I have no interest in fighting those 30 battles to level. 
So I'm assuming I was at or very close to the level needed for the boss going into Mother, with Girl maybe being one or two levels below the expected level. So I don't feel like I'm under leveled at the moment, given how long it takes to level. But yeah, very, very questionable reward so far from enemy encounters. But anyway, that's all I have to say for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube slash people watching the VOD. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.